Ismail Zani hey, Thank you though Thank you for having me guys Damn. Thank you for coming though Thank you for coming though Yeah though hey, Tak adalah yes. though Awak mesti seorang yang busy Tak adalah I mean Busy tu busy lah juga Tapi Selalu tengok podcast korang macam Eh macam seronok kan Banyak kali macam keluar Kat story aku <laughs> ke apa ke orang share Bila aku nak masuk kan <laughs> Kali dapat invitation tu Finally dapat lah The time pun aku tengah free So uh-huh. macam tu lah I'm here now lah To be fair kita orang dah ajak kau lama Betul Ya yeah, betul lah Kita yeah. 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 tengah busy shoot drama Betul lah hmm. That's actually true lah Sebab drama pun itu 4 months tu 4 Damn. months kan yeah, And then aku uh, stay dekat Terengganu for a month Wow So hmm. imagine homesick tu And then tapi Thank God makanan Terengganu best gila Faham uh-huh. Best gila Aduh hai, Mail. Aku nervous ni Mail. Asal lah? Kita dah lama tak jumpa. Lama dah sebenarnya hari. Yes. Aku terkejut uh, masa first-first jumpa ni Mail ni macam dia very humble macam tu. Aku oh, sekarang tak humble lah. Sekarang, 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 sekarang tak humble. Masa, eh, siapa? Apa ni? Masa tu, masa tu <laughs> sekarang oh, dia tak humble. <laughs> sekarang dia tak humble dah. <laughs> Tapi yang aku terkejut masa awal-awal <laughs> tu macam uh, tentu kan kita kawan uh, Adi Skandar semua nah, kan. Yeah, Stir Russian. And then tiba-tiba Mail jumpa aku dia, dia cubitnya puting aku. Faham? Aku macam, ish, hmm. Mail jangan macam ni tu. Aku buat apa Kau ingat ya? benda tu je. Aku ingat tu. <laughs> Sampai sekarang Sebab tu kau. je kau ingat. Kau salam semua orang, time aku dia cubitnya putih aku. <laughs> aku cahaya Aris, dia perlu aku dia cubit putih aku. Macam damn. Shit lah, that sounded so wrong lah. Bila tu dia Aduh, Tak tu lah. masukkan macam, ui aku special lah. Lain semua dia salam. <laughs> Aku macam ada cheese sikit, ada telur oh, special. Betul, betul. Ah. Betul, betul. Betul, betul. Betul, betul. Betul, betul. I think I think that's my, one of my habit dulu yang aku suka buat to my friends tu. Faham. Sebab aku, to be honest, cubit sakit gila tu. Uh, to be honest lah. So, aku suka benda tu. Aku suka buat orang, cao. Buat orang, cao. Faham. So, maksudnya kau daripada dulu kau kawan dia tu? Ya, yeah, dong. Ah, Apa yang flex. macam <laughs> macam baru jumpa ni? Aduh, bukan macam tak pernah lepak pula. Ah, Kita nak tunjuk dorang macam dorang sekali join kan. So, dorang pun macam, oh, macam ni ke Cerita ah. dia sebenarnya yang mm-hmm. buat kita orang senang like together sebab satu tempat je. Oh, betul. betul. Sejujurnya. Mm-hmm. Sejujurnya satu tempat. Tempat paling legend. Tempat paling legend. Tempat, tempat, paling legend. tempat kat situ je buat banyak bintang dah, dah, dah dilahirkan. Ya, yeah, tu satu. Lepas mm. macam kalau kau rasa ada banyak batch tau yang lepak. Ah, ya, betul. betul, betul, betul. Sampai betul. tahap macam, wih ni batch baru dah budak-budak baru. Yeah, <laughs> tak tahu yeah, muka muka yeah, tak berlaya yeah, kan. Saya yeah, dah usia. Oh, tempat-tempat tak lah. 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 Uh, apa nama dia? Nasir kot. Abang Nasir kot. <laughs> aku rasa... Kau jahat kan? That's a trap bro. Tu tu. Kau ajar tu. That's a trap bro. Baru baru bincang. Tak okay. Bang, bang, bang. Ha. saya selalu panggil abang abang. Betul, betul tak? Bang. Saya jarang tanya bang nama abang siapa. Bang, abang pernah abang tak, tak nampak saya tak datang patah bang. Ha? Saya sentiasa ada kan? Sentiasa ha. ada. Saya, saya, pun, saya pun sentiasa ada walaupun betul, busy. Betul. Kan? Ha. Abang mungkin tak nak... Tak, saya tak ingat nama abang tapi abang tak sangka dapat duit saya. Saya agak tu dah nampak tipu sikit. Saya agak tu dapat tipu sikit dah. Tak tak bukan macam tu. Bukan macam tu. Bukan macam tu. Abang tak nampak muka saya tapi abang setiap dapat duit saya kan abang. Aduh. Ya itu dia. Ah. Oh. Bodohlah. Macam tu. Ah. Aduh. Tapi pun abang duit saya kan. <laughs> Mail macam mana hidup? Hidup awak um, sekarang. I mean it's a tough life lah bro. Faham. Hmm. With a lot of things and kalau nak borak pasal kerja, of course ada problem juga. Mm-hmm. Kalau nak borak, uh, borak pasal personal issues, uh, of course ada benda juga. I mean, lately a lot of thing has been going on. Tapi all that I can say is it's life, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, this guy helps me too. Ish, in aku. terms of no, honest <laughs> ah, honest <laughs> ah. So macam like, aku suka tengok um, orang macam aku suka everything with visual, mm-hmm. you know. Kalau aku nak belajar pun aku belajar from uh, videos ataupun uh, let's say podcast aku ada banyak podcast mm-hmm. kat luar negara pun banyak podcast Betul. yang kau boleh dengar and ada banyak input in terms of business ke life ke so mm. all that I can say is it's life and it's my journey so 
sedih tu sedih with a lot of things but in the same time to be grateful is not easy ya bro mm-hmm. tu yang yeah, aku do. belajar sebab ramai orang macam oh aku bersyukur dengan apa aku ada tapi bersyukur tu bersyukur betul ke or just by word you know mm-hmm. uh, so just tak cakap yeah, je that you uh. like really appreciate your life now mm-hmm. things like that walaupun kau susah ke senang I mean a lot of things uh, ajar aku lah with uh, a lot of experience mm-hmm. bad and good experience so bagi aku macam at the end of the day I'm still moving forward lah yeah. faham mm. damn faham Deep siya. Deep siya. Mak Eda besar. Hei, aduh. Mak Eda besar. Tapi last aku uh, jumpa uh, kau sebenarnya bila? 2000, before PKP ya? Eh? Before tu. Before right? Yes. You, you memang <laughs> sangat cute. So sad. <laughs> oh, tak, tak, tak sombong eh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mak Eda. Sedap tu. Sedap tu. Aku jumpa dia hari tu. Aku cakap, ah, weh. Hadis memang datang nak keluar lagu eh. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Sekarang ni kita interview dia. Ah. 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 Kau bila nak keluar lagu? Oh, Asal kau tak nak keluar lagu? Eh, aku bukan tak nak. Aku okay. tengah busy. Ah. Tapi aku dah ah. ada lah buat satu lagu dengan Aziz. Aziz Harun. Aku dah tulis oh. dengan dia. Yes. No, okay. Cuma sekarang tengah nak masuk recording je. Oh, lagu pasal anak kau tu kan? Yes, ah. pasal anak aku tu. Yes. Nanti aku dengar lah, nanti aku dengar. Eh, boleh, boleh. Anak, anak kau dah setahun lah tu. Ya, yeah, doh. Lagu tu tak keluar lagi. Ya, yeah, doh. Yeah, Cepat do. sikit. Weh, congratulations to this dude ah. Kau Weesh. dah kahwin, you're married, kau dah ada family sendiri. Kau macam-macam doh. And surprisingly, aku... Memang lah, kau rasa macam aku jarang macam keep in touch to you mm-hmm, ke apa. Mm-hmm. Tapi aku still look at your journey juga ah and mm. i would say i'm very proud of both of you ah not just you ah wish yeah. thank you kau sama doh yeah, i mean aku like i'm proud of you <laughs> <laughs> no honestly doh sebab aku aku follow kau lama tau aku yeah. start kenal dia start daripada kita orang perform kat IU days mm-hmm. dia oh. ah dia akan menyanyi-nyanyi dan aku akan I lagu sabar time tu comedy time eh. tu lagu sabar tak lagi Wait, tak keluar lagi oh. tak keluar lagi ni betul betul before lagu sabar Faham. keluar oh lagi. masa yeah. kau stand up tu ha ah, masa aku stand up so aku ismail midnight fusic insomnia mm. semua yeah, start up in the same back yeah, Aisyah Redno uh, Kiladris ah. yeah and also ramai lagi ah ramai so lagi. macam IUD tu saya shock dulu dulu yeah do sekarang tak ada dah eh? aku, maybe sebab yalah berapa nak bagi tahu kita orang pasal IUD betul <laughs> <laughs> juga kan <laughs> yeah. so and then lah macam aku ingat lagi time kau post video kat Instagram kau nyanyi and apa ni kau tengah buat cover ataupun kau nyanyi ni karaoke dalam bilik karaoke seorang-seorang yeah, and yeah. then post those videos up yeah, yeah. and then like aku terkejut gila like macam during the time of um, Somnex tengah still build up their name mm-hmm. Minat Fusik still build up their name Damn. kau tiba-tiba dapat an offer to make kau punya first single dah yeah. and wow. aku macam holy shit and then aku rasa like aku rasa aku nampak kat TikTok hari tu kot macam ada orang post a video compilation pasal kau mm-hmm. uh-huh. and dia tunjuk semua lagu yang kau dah buat Oh, uh, mm. aku dan otak aku macam okay I know a few of your songs inside my head yeah. apa semua tu tapi there were songs yang aku macam eh haa uh-uh lah dia keluar lagu ni juga um, and aku macam tengok macam over the years kan wih banyak juga Asya yeah. look like how far you've already gone betul kan lah, ha, yeah. it wasn't like a one time thing ataupun tu semua dia memang just like berterusan yes, I mean yes. um, in music pun kau, kau pun akan agree lah benda ni everything mm-hmm. is about consistency juga bro betul, betul. sebab at the end of the day if let's say artist tu tak keluar lagu tak kisahlah siapa artis pun, it's not about them though, it's about the label sometimes. Mm-hmm. It's holding them back. Because ah. we will never know lah, sebab maybe ada plan lain ataupun contract macam setahun satu lagu. Ada though, yeah, I yeah, met yeah, a few people yang macam, oh dia setahun satu lagu je. So can you imagine like, if dia buat setahun satu lagu, lepas lagu tu tak hit. Betul. Untuk dia apa? So macam, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Takkan nak tunggu tahun depan, yeah, yeah. orang dah lupa dah mungkin. So macam setahun tu, it's a very long duration mm-hmm. and this is just a, A simple thing yang aku rasa macam uh, musicians out there consistently just keluar lagu tu. Yeah, that's mm. it lah. Betul, betul, betul. betul, betul. Mm. That's important lah. Sebab so, tu yang macam Ahmad, you, uh, you, you memang <laughs> dia tak konsisten keluar lagu. Macam, uh-huh. itu kan dia nilai kan. Tolong lah kan. <laughs> Oh, dia buat dia buat lagu tu untuk dapat the girl. Uh, dah dapat dah, dah kahwin dapat, dah. Dah, dah lupa lah lupa macam lagu tu. Betul betul betul. So, satu. Eh, tapi eh kalau cakap pasal lagu, mm. macam mana kau start tu? We mm. start eh. Nasheed. Yeah. Yeah, I would say Nasheed lah. Okay, mm-hmm. fun fact, aku huh? masa tu kat sekolah. <laughs> Kau kurang hajar kan? <laughs> Mamat yang secretly rambut blonde ni start dengan Nasheed. Eh, hey, come on lah. Subhanallah. Hey. Bro, everybody has their their start like betul. the journey, how betul, they start betul, right. Betul, betul. So, betul, betul. for me, okay lah. Fun fact, aku jarang cerita kat orang benda ni. Mm-hmm. Masa aku kecil, aku easily get annoyed with uh, songs. Hmm? No. Yeah, my mom used to be singer and aku tak tahu pun masa oh. aku kecil tu. Wow. Because my mom ni jenis yang macam 
dia nyanyi pun because masa tu um, parents dia macam cakap oh try lah jadi menyanyi semua so mm-hmm. dia try just for the sake of parents and stuff uh-huh. and then after dia kahwin terus dia stop 100% oh okay dia tak keluar TV apa semua dia memang tak nak uh-huh. and a lot of few things yang macam orang cakap oh buatlah comeback ke apa tapi my mom memang dah janji dengan diri dia yang hmm. kalau dia dah kahwin dia memang nak stop 100% wow. kalau dia dah ada anak lagi lah betul-betul dia nak stop mm-hmm. you know what i mean so macam uh, tu lah memang pun tak expect i want to be a singer mm-hmm. uh-huh. so how it start is aku kat sekolah masa tu aku ingat lagi dekat SMB tu semua orang tengah register koko punya thing yang macam uh-huh. nak masuk bola uh-huh. nak masuk yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ni lah apalah mm-hmm. so dekat my school you boleh pilih dua Uh, satu kena sport, satu lagi kena something macam uh, visual Macam contoh kamera ke, mm-hmm. you know, uh-huh. IT ke, things like that okay. uh, Nasheed So, aku dah tak lambat ah. <laughs> so, uh, Jangan tanya kenapa, <laughs> okay. tapi saya datang lambat okay. yeah, Zaman-zaman sekolah, biasalah Betul, eh. betul, betul. Masa sekolah rendah, so macam aku sampai lambat I'm with my friends, uh, my best-best friends Masa tu tiga orang kita orang mm-hmm. Masuk je semua dah penuh oh, beratur like bola memang paling main yes, lah zaman sekolah lalu we all know kat Malaysia kalau bola is the main sport so kat bola dah penuh aku macam kalau oh. tak bola badminton yeah that mm. only two of the end so aku macam macam ah Takkan aku nak masuk bola beratur panjang usul so, sekali dah sampai tak boleh letak nama dah oh kan? yeah betul okey tak apa <laughs> aku pergi badminton Hmm. Aku pergi badminton with my friends blah, blah, blah. The next one Kan ada two options kan mm-hmm. The next one aku tengok kamera Something like computer punya IT something And then Nasheed Tengok tiga-tiga kan Kamera aku tak ada kamera <laughs> <laughs> IT aku tak ada laptop sendiri mm-hmm. Sama-sama skor rendah yeah, yeah. So yeah. macam Kalau belajar pun apa Macam belajar komputer sekolah apa semua kan yeah, Mesti yeah. macam bosan You know senyap Macam something like library punya vibe kan So aku tak suka sangat Okay lah, just go to Nasheed At least aku boleh ketuk-ketuk benda kan <laughs> Sounds like sounds like a fun thing to do lah bro Ketuk-ketuk no. benda so, so dia pilih badminton ketuk benda <laughs> Nasheed nak ketuk honest, benda Honestly lah <laughs> Okay lah, one more thing Nasheed uh, Masuk because The girls are there yeah, bro okay, The girls are there Come yeah. on lah Yang yeah, macam macam man Yang macam man Assalamualaikum yeah, Amin lah <laughs> So yeah, aku masuk Nasheed And aku main percussion uh, Aku mm. main kahun Wow. Oh, yeah, so okay. I started with Kahun and finally one fine day bro, kita dapat masuk this tournament now. Uh, Nasheed tournament. Mm. Our main singer, the leader, um, perempuan, uh, Liana Fatini nama dia. Wow. Yeah, um, dia demam. Mm-hmm. And then, um, aku tak ingat itu Liana Fatini ke orang lain, tapi, tapi perempuan lah masa mm-hmm. tu. Okay. So macam uh, dia demam and cikgu-cikgu semua kat situ, cikgu kat Nasheed tu, hmm. tahu that my mom used to be singer. Oh, okay. So there's one day, dia cakap, okay, competition kita ada seminggu je untuk training. So we need a new lead singer. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Siapa boleh jadi lead singer? Semua orang diam. Aku pun dekat kahun aku buat bodoh. Oh, yeah. Aku tak nak yang ni. And I don't know I can... I, I mean, I don't know I can sing. Uh-huh. I, I tak pernah langsung nyanyi dulu. Tak pernah try langsung. Yeah, eh? tak pernah. Yeah. And I grew up with like songs from my sisters which is diorang dengar R&B yang lama. Mm-hmm. Macam lagu Asher, Chris yeah. Brown. So those are the songs yang daripada kecil memang aku dengar. Aku mm. jarang dengar, bukan nak flex lah, tapi aku mm-hmm. jarang dengar lagu Melayu. Faham. Uh, yeah, Faham. Yeah, tapi yeah, yeah. in the same time, aku, uh, after aku start nyanyi, okay tu nantilah. Mm-hmm. Lepas tu, um, cikgu tu cakap, you. Bangun sekejap. <laughs> Saya cakap, ha? Me? I don't know where. Ha? Me? And aku bangun. <laughs> try. Sikgu suka. Saya mm-hmm. kata, okay, we can still train this. Let's do it lah. Macam... Ha, huh? so I'm the new lead singer eh. Mm-hmm. Tapi saya punya kompak. <laughs> saya punya kahun je. Oh, orang lain boleh ganti. Oh, orang lain boleh ganti. Oh, okay. okay. So, macam, <laughs> after training macam seminggu and then pergi competition tu, that was my first competition and aku menang. Wow. Yeah. So, that that we macam the winning experience tu buat aku rasa macam oh aku boleh nyanyi yeah. <laughs> you okay. know what i mean yeah. no the video yeah, yeah, yeah. is on youtube dulu nanti uh-huh. aku bagi kau tengok so macam <laughs> it's very funny how it started and then since that aku senyap-senyap pergi like bilik and then try to uh, apa ni macam gain my confidence kat atas-atas tu jadi stage tau wow. so aku macam pegang yeah. pegang sikat lah aku tak ingat uh-huh. lah things yang macam mic kan anything boleh pegang sampai so, mic imagine ada orang kat depan aku banyak imagine macam aku kena interview aku wow. kecil-kecil memang wow. kuat kuat yeah. imagine yeah. Lah. Yeah, aku I dah mean, 10, I mean, 10, kali, 10 kali aku 10 kali dah 10 kali Alan Alan kat situ aku dengan dia oh, so Alan alah bodoh One day lah, maybe, who knows right? Mm-hmm. So macam, uh, yeah, that's how it started lah kalau kau tanya aku, Nasheed lah, I mean, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Kau, yeah. kau, so memang daripada kecil lah kau memang hone kau punya craft as a singer, cuma nak belajar 
And yeah. you like try to get it all up there. Even trophy nasi tu, uh-huh. aku simpan tu. My mom never nampak. Wow. Yeah, until aku form form three. Form three kan aku dah start uh, post covers on YouTube uh-huh. dah, dekat YouTube dekat Instagram kan. Uh-huh. Lepas tu dah social media dah start. My mom tak tahu apa-apa pun. My mom tak ada social media, tak ada apa. Uh-huh. Lepas tu keluar GF UK ke apa, tiba-tiba orang macam, eh nak tak gambar? Oh. Tak, so my mom macam, eh siapa yang artis ni dulu? Ah, <laughs> kan? Kau anak aku kan? <laughs> aku ada satu, ada satu yang tanya tau. Hmm. So dia sit down aku, ingat lagi. Masa tu dekat uh, Sushi King ke Zanmai, tapi kedai sushi lah. Mm-hmm. Macam, Zani? Zani buat apa sebenarnya? Dia memang panggil Zani Zani tau. Oh. Hmm. Sebab nama aku Ismail Zani. Yeah. So yeah. family panggil Zani. Zani. So aku macam, Mm, mm, cover <laughs> <laughs> Tapi aku macam takut nak bagi tahu my mom Sebab macam takut my mom macam tak 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 suka ke mm-hmm. apa ke kan And masa uh-huh. tu aku pula dah tahu dia used to be a singer uh-huh. So dalam otak Time aku mesti Baru figure out lah Baru figure out ah, okay. Masa ni aku dah form 2, form 3 lah mm-hmm. That is when aku rasa macam Oh maybe my mom tak boleh tahu Because that is the reason why dia stop singing ah. You know I, th- I I thought she she hated so much about mm-hmm. those things. Ah. I don't know. We would never know, right? What? Is? So that was my solid reason. Ah. And then my mom said to Kajut, suddenly she's so proud. Oh. And then like she never, she never said ah. She never, much like, forced me to sing. Mm-hmm. Like, uh-huh. If you love music, you just go ahead and explore. If you need help. I'm here. In terms of help, apa yang dibagi aku is full support. Mm-hmm. Aku pernah basking kat Sogo kena halau. Damn. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, bro. Um, I I'm not close with my dad. And one thing about me, aku aku tak ada dad figure. Oh, mm-hmm. Daripada dulu, aku yeah. memang grew up with. Uh, I grew up with a lot of girls around me. Um, my sisters, mm-hmm. uh, my mom, mm-hmm. even mak long aku anak-anak dia banyak perempuan. You know, so macam aku tak ada dad. That figure touch mm-hmm. dalam life aku, mm. so that is where I have my older friends. Mm-hmm. Kawan kawan aku masa aku form one, kawan kawan aku semua like twenty three, twenty four, yeah. So cakap main futsal kat sport planet every night, balik pukul tiga malam. Aku daripada form one dah balik pukul empat pagi, kau tahu? Yeah. Tengok bola apa semua. <laughs> but yeah, that is a experience lah, bro. Yeah, like but faham. that's how I. I met a lot of people and I get to learn things yang aku boleh ambil, aku ambil. Mm-hmm. Ya, yeah, aku rasa macam, eh tak boleh ambil. Aku tak payah ambil. Macam uh-huh. tu lah. Faham. Yeah. Mm. Damn. God damn, Syah. Aku tak tahu pasalnya basking tu. Kau memang basking kat dulu eh? Aku basking, uh, personal reason is because aku... One thing about me, aku dulu aku ada this one uh, feeling of pressure. Mm-hmm. Sebab aku seorang okay. je anak lelaki. Ah. Okay. And um, aku rasa macam... I'm, macam useless lah aku kind of say Sebab macam mana Because all my sisters are damn smart bro mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My okay. elder sister shout out to Nur Izzati mm-hmm. Hello Shout out to Nur Falahi juga Hello. So both of them <laughs> macam pandai lah Okay lah ni fun fact lah UPS lah kakak aku yang first mm-hmm. 5A Okay. Kakak aku yang second, 4A. Uh-huh. Sampai aku 1A. <laughs> so macam kenapa kita turun lah. Tapi turun teruk tau. So PMR pun kakak aku 8A. Mm. Kakak aku yang Fala dapat 7A ke 6A. Mm. Aku dapat 2A je. So macam, <laughs> macam tu lah. Maksud aku faham. Aku macam sampai tahap macam, dude tapi, I can't learn from books. Tapi mm. kalau kau fikir betul, kakak nombor 2 kau dengan kau gabung 5A. <laughs> Aku tak pernah terfikir. <laughs> Patutnya aku guna no. benda tu kat mak aku dulu kan. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh my god. You are so smart bro. <laughs> yes bro. Dari bro. Dulu, bro. Ah. bro. That is mm. one hell of a trick guys. Okay. Betul. Anyways. Kau combine. Ya lah. Kau tambah pula. Wait ya. Itu maksud aku. Aku macam. Uh-huh. Aku rasa macam. Okay lah. Because I had a. Uh, I fought with a few times with my dad dulu. Macam. Oh we. Apa, I I paid you school, blah, blah, blah. We mm-hmm. talked about my education and stuff. And then, you know what, dad? I don't need your money anymore. Mm. That kind of thing. So, let me go find myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, since form one, aku start kerja lah. Aku pernah kerja kat kantin tu. Damn. Aku voting yeah. sekolah uh, masa aku form three. Mm-hmm. Aku ikut kawan aku kerja kat kantin. Kita orang jual roti john. Aku ingat lagi. Yeah. And sekolah tu dekat ceras. Yeah. Holy oh, shit. So since um, pagi time sekolah sampai tengah hari tu. Sebab tu sekolah kerajaan. So kita kat kantin tu. Budak-budak sekolah rendah tu semua. Uh, kita orang jual lah roti jun. Singgit kat kantin. Macam tu lah. So oh. kemas-kemas. Angkat roti apa semua. Beli stok apa semua. I was helping a friend out. But in the same time I'm finding my own money to survive lah. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Form 1 yeah. siya. Ah, form 1, form 2, form 3. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, in the same time, I'm what I do with music is aku basking lah. Aku try to basking kat every UK. Mm-hmm. Lepas tu pernah macam, oh, tak boleh because you're underage. Because every UK, dia ada this one policy where 
kalau kau nak basking kau kena macam something like register mm-hmm. uh-huh. and kau kena bagi your details so dia ada slot okay. uh, uh, kalau kau rasa dekat LRT, LRT tu, tu. ya yeah, 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 LRT yeah, yeah. so macam it's kind of hard for me to dapat that so okay tak apalah so i started basking dekat sogo uh, perform dekat sekolah-sekolah lain bla 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 wedding mm-hmm. So benda aku buat sendiri through social media. So wow. social media really helps me in terms of people datang kat aku mm-hmm. or like work and jobs apa semua. But then aku ingat lagi ada show kat Terengganu yang aku pergi sendiri, Why? you know. And then dia orang bayar aku macam okay lah but like I mean masa tu Hmm. Bagi aku macam, wow, dia banyak eh hmm. okay. Tapi tolak duit tiket, duit duduk situ kan Berapa dah tinggi Tapi tapi benda tu tak rasa dia bila kau yeah, dapat yeah, dia yeah. Yeah. You are, you, uh, you, apa ni You feel happy when you do something that you love mm-hmm. At the same time, you get, you earn stuff, you know yeah, uh-huh. So yeah, macam yeah. bagi aku, that is where I started basking and all And kita pernah ada contract dekat this one place called Santai Bro mm. That's Santai you ever been to Santai Bro, gombak dia tempat lipat eh? Yeah, yeah. Ah. Mm-hmm. Ada, uh, dia macam very nice lah. Dia seke-seke patah ke? Aha. Ah. Ah. Santai bro tu dulu. So, kita ada contract dengan dia. Um, aku every night, aku perform kat situ. So, imagine, my friends, me, Zain Akal, uh, Faiz Ruzaini, tiga mm-hmm. orang. Kita selalu basking kat situ. Every night, sampai pukul 1-2 pagi. And then kita macam datang kat setiap table macam bang. Oh, ya, 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 ya. That kind of, that kind of vibe lah. <coughs> And then, Every day, contoh sehari kita orang dapat like 20 ringgit, 50 ringgit. So bagi tiga orang. Yeah. 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 I mean, masa tu macam tak rasa doh, because we're not doing it for money pun. Mm. Like sebenarnya, bila kita orang fikir balik, like I still have my mom and mm-hmm. stuff, and I'm still young. Mm-hmm. So at that point, aku rasa aku tak fikir pasal duit sangat. Maybe sebab tak ada benda yang aku kena like kena bayar. You know, for. Ah, kena ah, tak bayar. Ada ah, lagi. Tak ada commitment lah. Mm. So aku rasa Masa tu is very fun lah bro. I get to experience a lot of things and stuff. But yeah, mm. it's a hell of a ride lah. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Tapi yeah. aku quite, I like the fact the fact macam kau just try je dulu. You do. Like yeah. kau just buat je and kau try je. Yeah dude, like life it's, you you have to try things. Betul? Mm-hmm. Tak kisah is good mm. or bad. Generally for me, like personally, for you to try things is good. Then you learn. Because mm-hmm. if you tak try, you will never know. Takkan Betul. bila you dah kahwin, bila you dah 30 plus, baru you macam, oh aku nak try benda ni lah. Mm. Ah. You know that kind of thing when you already have a wife, a kid, mm. a family. So, bagi aku macam, young age, you should just try as much try, as you bro. fucking can. Then. If you are wild, then be wild. But learn bro. You have to control your limits lah. Mm-hmm. That's it lah. At the end of the day, kita still ing- macam nak cakap ah? We have to remember where we stand. Mm-hmm. That's all, lah. And remember our family and stuff, people who support us. So that's it, lah. Mm-hmm. And for me, if you want to change nowadays, if you realize everything is getting more toxic, bro, and, it, and it's scary, ah, how okay. social media can <sighs> control people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you so agree with that? Yeah. With oh, like, yeah. okay, yeah. one thing aku daripada dulu aku tak pernah main Twitter sebab aku tak suka Twitter. Ya yeah, betul tu. Aku benci Twitter. Aku rasa kau betul. Kau ada Twitter. Aku ada Twitter. Aku, aku uh, uh, retweet video kucing. Uh, oh, video yeah. kucing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sebab kalau Twitter pun kau letak lah apa-apa pun orang akan cakap something tu. Ya yeah, bro. Kau cakap dia lah kau suka kucing. Habis macam mana dengan anjing sial? Kau tak suka uh, anjing ke? Ya yeah, betul. Kesian anjing babi. But you know like Twitter is toxic. There's this one era kalau kau ingat that one phase of Twitter semua benda is just depressing bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, People are talking about the emotions and for me that's wrong. Mm-hmm. You know, for you to share it out loud to people, somehow people cut their hands mm-hmm. yang depressed yeah, and yeah, post, yeah, yeah. you know, those yeah, yeah. those eras and ada dulu dulu and yeah, yeah. it's quite dangerous ah. That's why aku macam rasa social media right now is scary bro. Mm. And plus like right now you don't need a media to know a story. Mm-hmm. You can you juga. can just find an account yang baru buat and they don't just st- share stories yang tak tahu sahih ke tak. Uh-huh, Things yes. like that. So, people easily percaya. Yeah, and betul? that is so dangerous. Bro. Betul? No, there's this there was this, yeah. like this one time oh, aku I was scrolling through like a post and aku mm-hmm. jumpa like this post about eh yeah, sila minum, sila minum. Ah, tu kau punya. Ah. So, I saw a post about making a prayer kan. If like God wants it for you, mm-hmm. he, that's why he's That's why you're making that prayer because God wants to give it to you apa semua mm. tu. And then aku macam okay lah, aku felt tenang lah at my heart kan. Then aku nampak the comment section, ada satu orang komen kat situ macam I'm not so sure about this. I've been praying for something for 10 years but it never came through. And aku mm. for the first one hour tu, aku panik tau. Aku macam fuck. Asal Mina ni pray 10 tahun tak dapat ni kan. Aku macam wish aku biar betul 10 tahun kan. It, it made me kind of 
doubt in mm-hmm. a sense much um fuck is, is what i'm doing really the thing i should be doing or am i just living in my own delusion and mm-hmm. when this isn't something for me and then afki balik kan oh my god kim chill the fuck down this is a random person on the internet yeah, you don't bro, even yeah, know bro. this person you don't know if it's yeah, fucking bro. true or not uh-uh, but, uh, but imagine if something like that kan <coughs> will it get me doubting and guessing just something simple like that eh bayangkan something more extreme yeah betul like macam yeah, someone tiba-tiba masuk dm kau kata you <coughs> fucking suck you're a horrible human being yeah bro Uish. yeah bro at the end of the day we are humans though yeah do we have feelings too man i betul mean do uh we we can talk about a lot of things bro i mean one thing that i realize is our not to say our own people lah maybe we can reflect this to ourselves juga mm-hmm. and aku realize yang macam kita kurang appreciation terhadap mm. diri masing-masing oh betul betul uh-huh. right because betul-betul. i feel like not to say i'm blaming all of the people out there tapi macam mm. yalah even in the music industry right mm kita orang sejujurnya rasa macam there's a lot of talents in Malaysia bro mm-hmm. a lot mm-hmm. underground pun semua banyak tapi appreciation to support each other tu susah doh nak dapat you know? orang gila tu yeah so orang macam gila. benda tu aku rasa the main thing that is hard for us to grow international mm. yeah so macam let's say Malaysia i know at the end of the day kalau music you guys still love ballet Mm-hmm. Macam contoh Kau pergi luar negara Kau makan western apa semua At the end of the day Kau akan cari nasi Betul tak? Yeah, betul Sebab so, kita Malaysian yeah, betul. So ballad memang tak boleh lari But mm-hmm. I'm not saying Don't accept other genres mm-hmm. Like there's a lot of genres And there's a lot of artists Yang macam buat lagu indie yeah. Lagu hip hop Ke apa ke So Orang-orang tu lah Yang kau perlu macam Tonjolkan juga Not just mm-hmm. ballad And vocal yang tinggi je You know what I mean? Betul, ah, betul. betul. Yeah, 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 yeah. Itu Aku punya ni lah Macam My observation lah yeah, yeah, yeah. Sebab One thing Kita tak boleh nak expect Music kita ni Macam dulu Sampai sekarang mm-hmm. Because the era is changing The technology is changing Even buat lagu sekarang Tak ada guna instrument Everything is MIDI And computer yeah, AI AI And it can sound real AI pun ada Bro <laughs> how scary is that yeah, bro Tell me how scary AI know. is bro I, want, I don't want to talk about AI <laughs> <laughs> Tolong <laughs> Just don't go there man Takkan habis <laughs> Okay tolong lah Tak boleh habis tu tapi macam apa kau cakap tu, aku, aku rasa macam uh, aku borak dengan Lee kot before mm-hmm. this. And Lee mm-hmm. pun pernah mention the same thing. Time Harik keluarkan lagu cute dia pun, banyak orang condemn dia. Mainly because dia bukan jenis lagu ballad and bukan la- jenis lagu yang dia yeah. tarik-tarik apa semua tu kan. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, betul. If you, if you tengok balik, what he did bro, he was the only one that time. Betul. He betul. was the only one. Huh. And we should be proud of that yeah betul because he's malaysian uh-uh. you know what i mean Faham. and you tak start with singing pun betul. you have that eager to release a song a song like that and you bring out the everything lah not just the song not just the music but the looks the look and feel about the video mm-hmm. the videography and all thanks too yeah mm. so bagi aku macam the appreciation is the only thing malaysian need for us to grow mm-hmm. that is the main thing lah and yeah. there's others lah for sure but betul. like The main thing is just to appreciate each other. That's betul? it. Yeah. Betul, 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 betul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Masa dulu pun macam banyak yang cakap macam uh, patutnya kena ada suara macam Hil Husaini baru sedap Malaysia punya music. <laughs> no, bagi um, aku masa masa aku masuk dalam music ni kan, aku tengok macam damn kita tak perlukan suara yang tu pun untuk lagu tu sedap actually. Yeah. Kan kita kena produce yang sedap. Kita yeah. ada kadang-kadang tu uh, producer letak little things dalam tu pun orang tak tak jumpa benda tu. Orang just tengok pada suara siapa yang nyanyi suara dia sedap yeah. ke tak itu je hmm. padahal orang patut appreciate music tu seluruh tu siapa yang buat siapa yang ni apa yeah. apa yang bestnya dekat beat ni and yeah, all bukan exactly. just suara saja itu hmm. yang aku nampak dekat kita punya audience lah. memang suka macam oh suara ting tinggi tadi je oh ini sedap yeah, yeah, ini yeah. juara anugerah yeah. juara yeah, lagu, lagu. <laughs> inilah calon calon <laughs> anugerah juara lagu ya yeah, ya yeah. bila orang dengar music <laughs> lain sikit dia orang macam eh apa ni siang asal tiru barat apa semua padahal itu music tu yeah. macam-macam boleh jadi sebenarnya and for me macam talking about AJ right mm-hmm. i feel macam sekarang um, It's time to change lah aku rasa. Betul. Aku Method tak doang. pernah cakap benda ni. Mm-hmm. Tapi I don't know I have the eager to talk about it or not. Cila do. But Apa for do? me macam, just an opinion. Mm-hmm. I feel like we should change the judge bro. Mm-hmm. Because like... Judge ni siapa? Aku tak tengok EJR. Uh, tak silap aku. Um, Ajay? Ya, yeah, lama-lama lah. I mean... Mm-hmm. Otak-otak lah. Uh, otak-otak yang betul-betul. I mean I respect them so much. Betul. Because uh-huh. they are so good in music and stuff. But the era is changing bro. I feel betul. like 
people on the AJL kalau tukar judge let's say Datuk Siti dah boleh jadi judge tu. Mm, betul. Ya. Yeah. Erni aku rasa dia tak perlu bertanding tu. Yeah. Erni Zakri can just be a judge now. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You know because we need those fresh ears mm-hmm. for us to for them to judge us. Betul. Uh-huh. I understand yang orang-orang sekarang yang judge sekarang ni. Dia orang pun pernah cakap kat interview macam oh we still need to accept new music. If you can accept don't. Uh-huh. Because betul. we're not forcing you. Yeah. But it's just an opinion lah. Mm-hmm. What you can you imagine what if AJL the judge macam semua baru? And everyone is like not to say macam yang yang, but mm-hmm. it could be someone yang dah achieve a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Macam Aina Abdul, dia mm-hmm. dah tak perlu bertanding doh. Yeah doh, mm-hmm. dia dah need, bro. Dia nak masuk legend lah tu. Yeah yeah mm-hmm. man. So for me macam any datuk city, so just change the judge and then you can see how AJL bertukar doh. Yeah, betul. honestly, kalau tak sampai sekarang sampai bila AJL is gonna be the same. Yeah. Tapi kau rasa yeah. macam the main reason orang choose those judges is because of star power saja ke? Um, I don't know lah, but Of course lah, orang memang very, people uh, respect them a lot Betul. and then they're so good in music daripada dulu mm-hmm. lagi but I do respect them too tapi just like I said, just an opinion because I, aku macam teringin nak tengok what if kita tukar the judges kan, how mm-hmm. exciting that is bro yeah, yeah, Betul, tell me that lah Kita akan mm. dapat, dapat banyak gila benda baru yeah, lah So you imagine, mm. okay lah Joe Flizo kalau dia jadi judge bro. You do. So there are new faces, mm-hmm. new voices, new music yang akan masuk AJL final. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be dope. You mm. do. There's going to be ballad, there's going to be hip hop, there's mm-hmm. going to be R&B, a lot of type of music, you betul, know. Betul. So macam itulah anugerah juara lagu. Yeah, yeah. Sebab kalau kau tengok final, kalau semua lagu ballad, aku pun tak nak tengok. You yeah, do. You know what I mean? Betul, betul. Yeah, betul. and in order for us to grow, we need to accept more music the experimental all, mm-hmm, all mm-hmm. the music yang pelik-pelik kau dengar sebenarnya those musics is music you know yeah. how they betul. produce benda tu it's not easy bro betul betul yeah. betul, betul producing music is so fucking hard guys yeah, yeah. So i don't guys. this is, at the end of the day this is just an opinion okay guys uh-huh. <laughs> don't don't ever <laughs> rasa macam eh my ni dah lah tak pernah yeah. menang AJL lepas tu banyak cakap <laughs> no 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 don't point that out to me <laughs> i know i tak pernah menang AJL but like no one's attacking you bro yeah, <laughs> yeah. when you say space when you say space no one's and, attacking you <laughs> no and for me um, AJL kalau aku dapat masuk final pun alhamdulillah betul. apa ke tapi macam at the end of the day it's not a about me proving to the world that mm-hmm. I can do music mm-hmm. because I know I can bro betul mm-hmm. you already proven so many you know, times already so macam buat apa aku nak kena ada award untuk bagi tahu kat semua orang oh, aku dah menang mm-hmm. so you guys stay silent yeah. sebab kalau once you menang pun at the end of the day people will forget about it bro yeah betul. Betul. tengok how many people on Britain's Got Talent ataupun America's Got Talent menang yeah, and then man. nothing fucking happened after that betul yeah, yeah, that yeah. doesn't mean shit winning something doesn't mean shit so if yeah. you I'm saying this to the losers out there lah <laughs> <laughs> in a sense where just because somebody yeah. wants something doesn't mean you're not going to win something along somewhere in life okay? yeah. and But also like it started to be like a competitive thing you know mm-hmm. yeah. so automatically ada a few artists kat luar sana yang akan rasa competing with each other yeah, yeah. for me that is already wrong ah. betul, betul, betul. but I mean somehow if they take that thing in a good way it will be good for them mm-hmm. for them to be hungry more and to do a lot of things more betul. but for me um, it's not about competing at the end of the day and i feel like i have no reasons to prove i need to menang AJL because my direction i just want to share my music mm. out there and betul. for people to listen orang dengar lagu aku pun aku dah happy gila tu mm. you yeah. know that feeling so if you ask me what is your biggest achievement i would say people dengar lagu aku tu that's it itu dah rasa biggest achievement aku I don't need no awards to tell people Oh aku menang ni, aku pernah menang ni aku. No, I don't need those things Because personally, apa yang aku hold on to is important for me And that's enough Because mm. I'm doing this for me, not for yeah, You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, not for people out there yang macam Nak I prove more ke apa Because at the end of the day, I'm proving it to myself mm-hmm. And people around me that loves me, man Contoh my mom, mm-hmm. my sisters, my friends Yeah, that's it. Mm. And I feel like semua orang boleh buat music dulu sekarang. Betul. Yeah, do. Kat rumah kau boleh buat music. Yeah, do. Kau tak perlu pergi studio, sewa studio. It's mm-hmm. not like before lagi. And the world is changing and let's change together with the world lah. Mm. You know, yeah. Yeah. Change or get left behind. Yeah. Uh. Uh. 
Damn. Ah. <laughs> Cakap <laughs> lah. Bawa dah, <laughs> man. Hey, hey, jangan lah. Bawa dah. Aduh, hey, thank you dah, Aris. Sebab datang podcast aku. Hey, so, macam... Uh, aku susah tanya lah. Like... The first question yang aku ada lah, kan. Macam... How's, how's life, doh? Eh? Ui, okay, doh. Okay, doh. Hidup aku sekarang... Alhamdulillah lah. Sekarang aku tengah... Orang kata apa? Tengah menikmati yang nak aku membesar. Dah pandai berjalan. Dude, how is it to be a dad? Ui, susah doh. Yeah? Susah gila bapa. lah. Susah. <laughs> Jadi bapa susah. Susah, susah, susah doh. Susah. <laughs> aku ni cepat nangis. Aku cepat takut. Uh-huh. Tahu. Uh-huh. Bayangkan baby dah baru start nak berjalan. Dah terlanggar hmm. ni terjatuh tu. Aku cakap, ih tangan lah. Aku tengok anak aku nangis. Aku nak nangis juga. Faham. So benda tu sangat susah untuk aku. Tapi aku kena kuat untuk memastikan dia membesar dengan baik lah. Hmm. Itu ujian untuk aku lah. Hmm. Betul. Like, what is the... Aku tu tanya tanya oh, because kila, of course everybody wants a baby, right? Mm-hmm. I want my own baby to one day. Mm. So macam, what is the feeling of dukung anak kau for the first time, and that is from you, bro? What can you can you just tell me a little okay. bit of it, lah? Satu macam, what's the satu benda, ya, benda tu memang kau tak lihat describe, bro. Yeah. Perasaan tu mm. kau tak tak pernah tak pernah rasa sebelum tu. Perasaan tu bila kau dukung. Uh-huh. Tiba-tiba kau keluar air mata. Kau tak tahu dah apa benda tu. But yeah. kau, kau akan jadi orang paling happy lah kat situ. Itu je aku boleh beritahu. Um. Paling happy, paling bersyukur, paling... Oh, kau tengok, aku pun nak nangis ni. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tapi itulah itulah perasaan dia. Sangat-sangat yeah. best lah. And uh, then secara tidak langsung kau macam, okay aku dah ada tanggungjawab. Mm. Aku kena jadi bagus. Aku kena jadi um. lebih elok daripada sebelum ni. Sebab mm. aku nak tunjukkan anak aku and all. Nak jaga wife aku pula. Yeah. So macam benda tu datang sekali but perasaan tu time tu je boleh jad, boleh rasa ah. Yeah. Hmm. Shout out to the mom and dad. Let's there. go dah. Shout out to the mom and dad. Tak senang tapi there. kita bagi senang. Let's go. <laughs> hey, kita buat dia jangan dia buat kita. Betul ha? <laughs> <laughs> kita mahu kan. Oh, <laughs> dah bunyi bapak. <laughs> <Aduh. laughs> Man, nanti next year tertukar ke bapak space. <laughs> <laughs> Mungkin Mai dah ada dua oh, anak dan tu. Bapak borak bapak space eh. Bapak oh, space. Bapak space. Style lu. Ha, zoom borak-borak kan. Bukan rokok. Anak anak kau. Sihat. <laughs> kau tanya aku, "Cana anak kau?" Sihat. Eh, sama, terima kasih kerana datang. Itu. Wei, that's actually exciting, bro. Kau <laughs> main imagine kau buat podcast, kau borak pasal anak each other, pasal macam Oi anak aku dah start bercinta tu. Ah, you know that kind of thing. Yeah, 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 What yeah, will you yeah. do when yeah, stuff? You know, you know it's actually yeah, yeah, yeah. quite funny ah. Yeah, well, that's gonna be fun though. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck sir. Damn. Let's go, boleh let's ni, go. Boleh ni, <laughs> boleh ni, boleh ni. Let's go, let's go. Boleh go ni, idea ni. Hello, hi. Hai, Mail. Aku nak tanya kau lah. Yo. Um, kau happy tak dengan music kau sekarang? Ooh. Ooh. Deep question. Mm-hmm. Deep question. Sebab, Sebab macam aku tahu lah macam, contoh macam sebelum ni, Label-label, kadang-kadang mesti ada masuk campur dengan kita punya lagu. Mesti mm. ada something lah. Kalau kita nak berkarya dengan orang ni pun kadang-kadang tak bagi and all. Mm. Kalau kita buat lagu yang berkarya, oh yang ni tak boleh, ni tak radio friendly and all. Mm. Tak boleh buat lagu macam ni. Mm. So how? <sighs> and kau pun macam, aku tengok, I see like a lot of times kau cuba switch up kau yeah, punya genre. Yeah, betul. Kan? Mm. During the time kau experiment kau punya <coughs> music, kau switch up mm-hmm. kau punya genre mm-hmm. a lot. So now, Krasta, okay. I would say the first reason... I join the company that I join right now is mm-hmm. because of a one person yang betul-betul aku put my trust on. Mm-hmm. Which is, shout out to Adib Hamdi. Let's go Adib. Yes sir. Adib, and now Adib. he's the uh, owner for EXO and also yes. he's working for MI. Shout out to him. I'm so proud of him. He's like a brother to me lah bro. Mm-hmm. Because um, dia yang jumpa aku dekat social media. Mm-hmm. Dia yang approach aku. Uh, dia yang ada dengan aku time-time kita baru start. Because it's a new label. Mm-hmm. And I'm their first talent. Mm. So imagine masa tu aku ingat lagi naik kita my V. Um, and then pernah like kita tengah kerja-kerja-kerja. Aircon rosak lah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know those kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Padahal okay. it's his company. Tapi he's he's being my my personal assistant mm-hmm. and stuff. Mm-hmm. My manager. He's being everything. So I put my trust on him because this guy is so smart, bro. I mm-hmm. learned a lot of things from this dude, honestly, uh, in my life. So um, after that, 2019, he left the mm-hmm. company with a few reasons. Uh. Mm. And uh, Company-related reasons. Uh. Uh-uh. And okay. then, um, bagi aku sedih, uh, I can't accept that. Uh. Mm-hmm. But I still put my hopes and trust dekat the company. Mm-hmm. Because I love the company, bro. I'm their first talent. Um, we grew together, you know, like kita... You know, makin lama makin banyak talent. So, mm-hmm. kita nampak the progress of it lah. Mm-hmm. Naim is also in the same neighborhood and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, macam happy out. Mm-hmm. Shit, this is actually 
working bro Betul. and then when adib left i was so sad aku ingat lagi masa tu aku terus like break down for a few days and then naim was there with me mm-hmm. he was the witness yang tolong aku cham peluk aku and just cham sabar do ni ni apa semua kan so after that year all i can do is just to put my trust and hopes dekat mm-hmm. the company and every year it's getting not to say worse but it's getting bad and bad mm-hmm. and bad Cheat and year. bad and mm-hmm. there's a lot of things happen personal issues and stuff trust issues and stuff mm-hmm. but at the end of the day macam bagi aku comel siot kucing ni apa nama dia we ah bad oh ah ben bad batman bad yeah oh step yang adik je dik eh you know so it's so, um Akrasa, if you're asking me, am I happy or not? Ah, 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 tumpah. Ah, oh, eh, oh, ah. Okay. <laughs> Kalau aku tanya aku happy or not, aku tak happy ya, bro. Oh my oh, god. Yeah, man. Because mm. uh, a lot of things, but all that I can say is one of the main reason kenapa aku tak happy is because aku dah tak nampak the purpose of me being in the same team as them, you know? Mm. Like, I feel like I wanna... Ay! Hey. Tak fokus ke kamera tu? <laughs> Adik! 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 Go, 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 go! <laughs> dia boleh pegang dia. Yeah. <laughs> dia juga nak betul. Dia dah macam tu lah. Dia nak tekan. <laughs> dah nampak paw dia tadi. She sees, kan? Tengok lah ni. But, yelah, aku tak happy. One of the reason is because of... Um, macam mana cakap? Like... Dia. I can't see my purpose being here anymore, bro. Mm-hmm. So, aku pula jenis nak explore more. I mean, I love them. They mm-hmm. help me a lot, mm-hmm. honestly. But, aku just nak chow, nak keluar and to experience with a different people, different mm-hmm. environment. You know, because that helps me on my creative side. Mm-hmm. Kita work on creative side. Aku rasa korang akan faham benda ni juga. Mm-hmm. So, talking about creative, right? Kalau kau stay dekat satu tempat, kau akan jadi macam tu je, doh. Yeah, yeah, betul. Betul tak? Uh-huh. So, that's why you explore macam Okay, jumpa orang ni. Jumpa orang ni. And then you learn, you learn, you learn. Uh-huh. Kalau lah, let's see, aku dekat music production. I'm doing songs with in-house punya team. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want to do with others. Betul. Like other producers out there, you know. Mm-hmm. I want to try. I want to know what I can do. What I can give. What I can bring. Mm-hmm. So macam benda-benda tu aku tak dapat sangat. And oh. aku rasa macam, that is one of the reason lah. And aku rasa macam, ah, I just want to grow, man. Mm-hmm. Because I know... By me saying this, orang akan macam, Oh, you're still muda, still muda, mm-hmm. you know? I'm, t- I'm only 23. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I don't want to, I don't want to waste my time, bro. Mm-hmm. This this time is where I have the energy, I have the, energy is the most important thing. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. for me to just like, tak tidur ke kerja ke belajar ke ambil tahu pasal ni ke. So I want to do a lot of things now means macam, I just want to explore, man. Yeah, as you should, wouldn't Yeah, not just in music, uh, but in life to just, <laughs> meet new people and stuff. So, I feel like that helps me on my creative side. So, bila aku macam dah, my creative side tu dah blocked, so aku ada macam issues about uh, writer's block, tak tahu yeah. nak tulis apa, yeah. tak ada idea, yeah. rasa macam, ah, tak apalah, buat je lah apa yang dia rasa buat sampai tahap macam tu. Mm. So, I I don't like that. And for me, macam, as a, as a entertainer, you really need to focus on your creative side. Because if you're not, You need to help yourself ah. It's mm. dangerous ah Betul. because somehow benda tu akan makan kau and akan buat kau rasa macam oh yo. Oi, dek. <laughs> nak kan ni? Nak kan. Yeah. But yeah, talking about creative side mm. itulah maksud aku. Mm. Yeah. Faham? Yeah. And that's why kau decide to leave kau punya label juga kan? I mean, it's still in the process lah right mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. and insyaallah everything will go as planned. Cuma right now I just want my my rights ah. That's all. Like, uh-huh. apa yang aku patut ada masa untuk aku keluar, mm-hmm. I want those things. That is the main reason uh, talking about songs ke, Spotify account ke, a lot of things bro. Mm. So, oh, banyak agak dia pegang ya? Eh? Yeah, because I was uh, 17. At I don't know, I don't know things. Uh-huh. Yeah. Aku sayang dengan diorang apa semua. And I put my, it's like I said, trust on them. And everything is good. But at the same time, one, my, my, the per, the only person yang aku trust left the company mm-hmm. and it's hard for me to trust the new team and stuff so uh-huh. macam that thing that thing like is actually the most yang aku rasa paling effect kat aku ah uh-huh. yeah for me to work on my creative side but i don't blame them they help me a lot mm-hmm. and um, shout out to world peace entertainment Ooh. whatever it is um they are also the reason why i'm here now mm-hmm. so at the end of the day i hope they understand kenapa aku I want to leave the mm-hmm. company, you know, because 
I, I feel like I deserve it. You know, I'm still young. I want to learn. Uh, maybe in the future we can work together mm-hmm, again. Mm-hmm. You know, we will never know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but all I hope for is for them to just pray the best for me as I will always pray the best for them. Uh. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's currently still in the process. Like, inshallah, everything will go as planned. Mm-hmm. Inshallah. Yeah. inshallah. Wait, damn, 22, Sam, that's it. 23, 23. 23, 23. 23? 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. Memang suka, aku suka dia bercakap tu. Mm-hmm. <laughs> aku memang just suka dia bercakap. Faham. So I feel like this is the right thing <laughs> for him to do like this kan? stuff. <laughs> Sebab dia suka cakap and at the same time, aku ingat, tolong lah, kau pun ingat kan yang oh. macam masa tu macam aku cakap, eh hey, Kim, tolong lah buat konten-konten yeah, ni. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, aku cakap, yeah, exactly. tolong lah, tolong lah. Tolong aku, you you time, deserve this. Yeah. Every time aku, I always think back, aku tengok balik aku punya journey, aku macam, fuck, it's all because of one DM aku dapat daripada Ma'il. <laughs> Serious though, like we were, I was like, it was during COVID. The main reason you guys are able to see the videos that I post today mm-hmm. is all thanks to this motherfucker. Ah, right here. no let's lah. Go, let's go. So I was, I mean, sure, he didn't came up with the ideas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he was the, the one that pushed me into that direction. In a sense, I'm like, I feel like I've been content that mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. If for you guys who don't know, I did like a lot of stupid, stupid comedy type mm-hmm. of content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dulu, dulu. More to like comedy and uh, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Comedy saja yeah. je. Tapi I, aku memang jujur cakap aku fell out of love with the whole comedy thing. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. orang tak habis gelak uh, cut aku instead of gelak with me. Uh, so uh-huh. I, I don't like the amount of respect I'm shown. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see. So because of that aku memang uh, throw it out there lah. Just memang tak buat apa-apa langsung. And then at that one time tu I lost my job. Aku tak tahu nak buat apa. And I fikir why not just do content creating again. Mm-hmm. So I did something that I was familiar with lah. Buat content, buat lawak apa semua tu. Mm-hmm. But it didn't work out as well. I was not hitting the numbers on TikTok tu. Aku tak nampak the whole success thing mm-hmm. apa semua tu. And then after a while, tiba-tiba this guy DM aku kata macam, hey, how about you do life quotes macam ni? Damn. And the first thing is in my head, aku macam fuck. Aku memang suka mm, yeah. dengar masalah orang, cerita masalah orang. Yeah, and aku rasa yeah. I know how to word it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Macam fuck, that makes so much sense kan? Why didn't yeah. I think of that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. And then But so then it started gaining momentum and mm. I'm starting from there. So macam, cut there tu. And now look at me, I have my own podcast now. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, aku, you. aku masa tu, aku ingat lagi tu, aku memang DM dia sebab aku suka tiap benda-benda tu. Mm-hmm. Because those things like, actually helped me a lot mm-hmm. for me to just like you know with all the problems all the comments coming mm-hmm. out there to be honest i can say that i'm strong but at the end of the day i'm not mm-hmm. you know kita laki tu yeah. yeah. uh, tak semua laki macam gah yang macam yeah, ada keras tu aku macam ada taman tu lah yeah, you know? nangis yeah, yeah. kalau orang cakap pasal family ke apa it's very sensitive for me mm-hmm. and stuff mm-hmm. about me ke pasal my confidence ke apa so mm-hmm. By looking at watching all of those videos, that those kinds of videos helps me a lot, ah. And actually, I got the chance. Wait, what, ah, do? Because he can, he can mm-hmm. speak English fluently, you know. Better, better. And. Como se English, so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Maybe le pani quote Spanish, eh? <laughs> Por favor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's how it goes lah. Shout out to Hakim Parker bro. Let's go. Siapa yeah. siang? <laughs> yeah, tapi podcast ni terjadi pun sebab dia juga. Really? Ah? Ni, yes. Uh, aku mula macam fikir macam, oh dia ni banyak cakap. Macam kau juga. <laughs> Apa kata macam buat podcast sebab dia ni best gila bila bercakap dengan dia. Mm-hmm. And aku cuma tak ada orang nak push je. Time tu aku cakap, Hakim jom buat. Uh, macam aku just cakap je lah time tu. Yo, because everybody mm. knows you can do a lot of things about contents bro. You faham. are really good in contents and ideas. Faham, faham. So that's why I feel like that's the reason why he approach you. Yeah. Eh, tak, aku yang approach oh, dia. Approach dia. dia. Aku, aku approach dia. Ah. Ah. Dia approach aku. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Macam kau juga, aku cakap dia ni banyak cakap siapa kata jom buat. <laughs> so you just need someone to push you ah. lah. Tak, sebab time tu aku macam, aku just terfikir je. Aku tak mm. ada macam, eh, boleh juga ni just angangan lah time tu. Yeah. Tapi macam bila nak start siap, tapi dia ni yang push aku macam, eh, jom buat, kita jom, kita buat terus next week. So macam, oh yeah. fuck, nak kena buat ni. <laughs> Babi nyakim, aku ingat dia gurau-gurau lah. Nak kena buat ni. So aku terus beli barang, masa next week terus shoot. And yeah, yeah jadilah ni. Settle. I mean, you guys are a good combination lah. You know why? Because like certain people, they don't know how to start a podcast. Even mm-hmm. with the all the facilities, man. Look, mm-hmm. Just look at your your stuff, dude. Mm. Kau, kau memang tahu nak beli apa, kau tahu nak guna apa, kau tahu perlu apa. Faham. So that's why I feel like korang dua 
is a good team. Ah. Yeah, yeah, betul. Yeah. 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 So shout out to this podcast too. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. Hey, clap that, hey, clap that. Aduh, aku haus lah. Aku dah minum sila, 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 sila. Aku minum kopi daripada kopi Saigon ni lah. Ya, kopi Saigon. Macam iklan lah kan. Macam iklan, sila, sila. Sila, sila. Uh, so uh, apa Mael hmm. Boleh ke kita tanya pasal cinta Yeah sure man No worries uh, as- Apa pendapat awak tentang cinta <laughs> Cepat lihat ah. soalan aku <laughs> kan? Apa pendapat awak tentang cinta Apa pendapat awak macam doktor doktor How's your love life <laughs> I mean Macam dalam <laughs> melodi <laughs> ah. So Mael macam mana <laughs> I never Percintaan. share I never Okay ya. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Aku Aku pernah This one phase where aku Terlalu suka share my private life mm-hmm. My Faham? personal life So Faham <laughs> Sabar, sabar. <laughs> so macam <coughs> year by year, aku macam learn a lot of things, mm-hmm. and I realized this one thing uh, last two years, where I cross some macam yo, my ill. Actually, you are sharing a lot of things about you, man, out there. Mm-hmm. You know, the social media, who I am with, lah, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. all. So I feel like, don't you deserve a private life? Mm-hmm. You know that kind of feeling, mm-hmm. and that is why it started macam oh, I also realized actually. Um, I can say like my Instagram is for work. Mm. My personal life is my personal life. Betul. Mm. Apa yang kau nak pakai Instagram tu is like more to like my my work mm-hmm. and um, who I uh, I'm just being myself. But mm-hmm. at the end of the day, I can't share a lot. Macam mm-hmm. terlalu banyak. Mm-hmm. So I I kind of slow down a bit. Benda tu. And uh, talking about love, right? Uh, I feel like if you're not a fighter, then you're not a lover, bro. Mm-hmm. And um, aku also rasa macam it's okay to do mistakes because mm-hmm. I did mine, mm-hmm. and I kept it on myself. I mean, I did it a few times. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of mistakes that aku terlepas pandang or mm-hmm. aku tak uh, tak try betulkan ke apa. But at the end of the day, I'm young and this is my journey. This is my story. Yeah, mm-hmm. betul. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah, yeah. aku, macam nak cakap, aku bukan nak cakap aku tak regret. Of course, I regret. But in the same time. I'm grateful, man, mm-hmm. for those yeah, things yeah, to yeah. happen to me. It's, um, it's in a sense, like I'm called regret, but you wouldn't go back into time and to change it, lah. Yeah, you yeah. just know that in the future you will never do it again. Yeah, and also uh. like learn from it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh. Or, or maybe we will do it again. Yeah, but yeah, like yeah. you learn, 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 and learn. Yeah. You know, because that is how we learn. Mm-hmm. You know, as humans. But the difference is, people see my journey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They then, have eyes on me. That's just. Too just busy. Yeah, betul. You know, there's a lot of guys out there oh, yang ada masalah with relationship uh-huh. or mm-hmm. girls out there too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the problem with relationship. Tapi orang tak tahu because people have no eyes on them. Mm-hmm. They're not a public figure. So, yeah, uh. they don't know apa yang orang uh, apa mistakes yang orang buat apa benda yang orang salah yang orang buat benda yep. baik ke apa. You know. Yep. But for me, the difference is people have eyes on me, so that is hard for me to. Go on with my journey, but mm-hmm. Alhamdulillah, I'm still strong and I'm still here. Mm-hmm. You know, um, tak kisah apa nak cakap, because at the end of the day, you can't what semua orang sayang you. You know, yeah, yeah betul, betul. Not everyone can like you and love you. Betul, mm-hmm. betul. So talking about love is damn hard, bro. Betul. Yeah, uh-huh. it's damn there's hard. This is one great quote that I suka. It's an Islamic mm-hmm. quote. Yang kata macam apa ni? You don't have to explain to the people who hate you and to the people who love you, because they already know. Mm. Yeah, actually good. Uh, actually good bro, yeah, yeah. I quit. What the? That's a really yeah. good quote. Yeah. yeah, 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 man. Uh, because it's because kalau orang tu dah benci kau, kau explain pun dia nak buat apa? Yeah, and yeah. dia benci kau dah. Betul. Uh, yeah, yeah. Kalau kau sayang dia, kau tak perlu explain pun dia faham. Yeah, uh. that's why. That's why like not just untuk love lah, right? But for me personally, sometimes. It's a waste of time for you to explain things to people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, betul. You know, mm. sebab macam bagi aku tak semua orang nak dengar explanation kau. Yeah, yeah. faham. And so I have my personal reasons why I did all of the things. Yeah, aku macam aku diam ke uh. kalau aku buat masalah aku senyap ke apa. Because silent tak bermakna kau kalah, doh. Yeah, yeah. Betul. You are actually in a process for yourself to reflect things yeah, in yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, betul doh. No, that's quite true. I took that time to just reflect to myself, you know. Sebab masa PKP, aku kan duduk seorang kan. Mm-hmm. So masa PKP really hits me when um, tak boleh keluar. Mm. I'm so far away with family and stuff. So I was alone. I was with my cats and stuff. Mm-hmm. So macam, 
okay lah Aku rasa macam bawa opak lah Sebab dia enam kucing dulu Wow <laughs> Yeah yeah I have a bangle sure. cat before Macam lompat sana lompat wow. sini Macam <laughs> macam rimau kan Aku macam oh calm down Berlin calm down <laughs> And nama dia Berlin Sebab aku tengok money highs Aku suka Berlin oh, ni okay. Okay. So macam ya yeah, Aku dengan kucing-kucing aku Sampai tahap tengok Tengok money highs zaman-zaman Sama-sama. tu kan Sama-sama Sama-sama <laughs> kucing Bari yang tidur apa Semua sampai tidur kat sofa But like I realise one thing man Aku terlalu Explore Life Mm-hmm. Sampai aku jarang spend time with myself dude. Damn. Oh, faham tu. You know that thing ah, where yeah, yeah, kau yeah, terduduk yeah. and kau just macam, "Eh, aku ni siapa tu? Aku ni siapa tu satu sebenarnya? Ah. Wish I'm spending time with myself. Uh-huh. When is the last time I'm doing this?" Ah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, that really yeah. hits me a lot. I was like, "Oh shit, my ear. This is the time where you explore alone and spend time and have fun with yourself." Uh-huh. Sebab kita sometimes we tend to like go out, hang out, lepa mm-hmm. and all of that with With someone, with mm-hmm. people, with mm-hmm. our friends, our family and stuff. Tapi kita jarang ambil masa time. alone time to just appreciate ourselves and to just reflect a lot of things and to learn. Mm-hmm. I mean, that is important. And I, aku dapat benda tu masa PKP, mm-hmm. aku rasa happy. But in the same time, after PKP, it really affects me, bro. I have this one attack where I can't, aku menggigil, aku nangis, aku break down. Mm-hmm. Because I feel so pressured. Maybe sebab dah lama tak jumpa orang. Oh. You know sebab PKP mm-hmm. dua tahun maksudkan. Yeah, yeah. So macam bila aku start kerja balik, so awkward gila. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I would kind of say I'm used to be alone dah. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh, itu pula the pros and cons dia. Faham. You know, uh-huh. and it was really tough for me. Aku pernah shoot with this client. Aku kena menari. I mean, I'm so used to dancing. Mm-hmm. I know, I know I can do it, you know. So aku dah menari, 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 tiba-tiba macam salah, salah. So take dalam dah, take ke lima ke take ke enam setuan. Mm-hmm. And I look at all the people's belakang camera kan. Yo, pak, aku terus nangis. Wah. Terus nangis, aku terus pergi toilet. Aku cari toilet, aku aku tak lena. Cakap cakap aku tak lena breathe easily mm-hmm. and my chest is feel so so heavy oh, pressure on my lah. shoulders and stuff. Yeah, Macam yeah, yeah, yeah. panic ah, yeah, panic. It's panic and, lah. and it's the first time aku rasa benda tu masa tu. And then aku cakap, yo, takkan nak cancel lah benda ni. Mm-hmm. You know that kind of thing because I feel like People expect a lot of things from me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Itu je aku dapat and pressured and all of those things. Kalau boleh, I don't want to do a single mistake. Of Tapi course. macam at the end of the day aku fikir balik, tak boleh do main. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are yeah. not a robot, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Kau akan buat mistakes gak? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pernah you know? tak ada tak rasa macam the moment kau make a mistake, you're no longer valuable. Yeah, though. Yeah, faham. Yeah, mm-hmm. faham. Okay, faham. 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 Share to anyone Aku jarang pergi podcast I mean this is the first time Aku cakap a lot of things In a podcast though wow. But like I feel like I want to say it now mm-hmm. You know yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I have the rights To say it for myself mm-hmm. Betul mm-hmm. You know yeah, I want to yeah. share with people Maybe people out there Are, are facing the same shit mm-hmm. yeah, You know yeah, exactly. I feel like yeah, yeah. If this helps Take it You know Reflect okay. into your life mm. If it doesn't Then just listen to our shit <laughs> 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 That is what podcast yeah, for Yeah Yeah, yeah. 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 change your day yeah, Yeah. Tapi tu ada dua things yang you said yang aku rasa macam hit me lah. Satu was about oversharing. Mm-hmm. Because aku rasa macam I, I did that like uh, I did that too as well. Although my macam whole platform <coughs> is about me sharing a little bit about my life apa semua tu. I realised that I didn't have to go full on detail. Just a general yeah. story is mm-hmm. enough lah. Mm-hmm. Okay, orang get the lesson. There be a problem. Yeah. How I overcame it and what's the lesson. That should be like enough for me. Because aku rasa aku remember that one time I got a apa ni someone else told me lah uh, through my ex-girlfriend cakap uh, someone said that you were oversharing and aku macam what the fuck kan apa where, where, at which point aku oversharing yeah, aku yeah. mental lah benda tu for like mm-hmm. a good solid two and months you question lah. it a lot of times ah, so right, ah, and now every time aku nak post something aku macam aku oversharing ni aku mm-hmm. oversharing ni mm-hmm. because it's true tau like sure like um, I can say something and I it could be like in a sense of like um, calling for help Like hey, I'm asking for help. Mm-hmm. But other people, there's someone out there segelintir tu yang suka tengok aku gagal, suka yeah, nanti yeah, aku jatuh, yeah. apa semua tu. And that, that that really fucks me up lah. And I didn't like that lah. So it took me like around three to four months for me to really get inside my head. Okay, when any worth sharing that? When any worth sharing that? I have so many things inside on the back of my head. I'll figure is this something I can share on Instagram, or is this something I should rather just keep to myself? Or is there yeah, a way yeah. to work around it? Yeah, that's uh, the thing. That's the thing about kita terpatah balik kat social media tadi mm-hmm. itu kita somehow macam sebenarnya kita tak boleh let social media control us though yeah, yeah, yeah. because you shouldn't question those questions bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's your rights yeah. you know what I mean yeah, 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 so yeah. why kita tend to terfikir macam 
oh, am I oversharing and stuff? Mm-hmm. Sebab social media uh-huh. and people out there, how they judge things. Kan, and, and betul, betul. So macam, aku pun macam, with my love life right now, it's so fucking hard, bro. Because mm-hmm. like, eventually, at the end of the day, my past is still there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's hard for me to, I mean, not to say to prove to people or to her, to her family, ke apa, but mm-hmm. bagi aku macam, I'm proving to myself. Mm. And it takes time because you can't just change in the blink of an eye, bro, with a lot of things. Oh, betul. Bro, it takes time. It oh. takes time for you to heal. It takes time for you to just sit down with yourself and, you know, this is a wake-up call for you. Mm-hmm. Too long, uh, let's just think about the future. Eh? Mm-hmm. And that's, that is when I said, aku bukan tak regret. Aku regret with my mistakes. But I'm grateful, bro, for those things to happen. But in the same time, at the end of the day, I'm still living with the past. Uh, me and her are still living with the past and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of hard for us, but we are still here. We are fighting for it. That's why I said, if you're not a fighter, then you're not a lover. Mm-hmm. Because to love someone is not easy. And mm-hmm. some somehow, if you met the right person, right, you will feel everything is just butterflies and but stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. But time susah, sometimes maybe tak ada ke apa. But alhamdulillah, bro. Like, what I have right now, everything is complete. It's just that I need to figure out how to be a better version of myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That mm-hmm. is the hardest part because somehow I need her support but sometimes she can't give me the support because she's hurting too with my mm-hmm. past. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And kita pernah macam should we do this? You know? Mm-hmm. And for me like dalam otak aku pernah tertanya-tanya what if we're not together right? And then we realize shit if we try harder mm-hmm. a little bit harder we could be together. Mm. So life is worth trying. Yeah, it's worth trying. Yeah. Okay. So mm. we're in the same team and we're doing it together now. So I'm I would say I'm so happy. But at the same time it still haunts me with a lot of things in the past. Mm-hmm. Mm. But the point is right now, I want to move forward, bro. Okay. I don't want to move back. Mm-hmm. And this is not holding me and holding us back. So we both are trying to move forward. And alhamdulillah. Mm. Yeah. Just Yeah. Shit, aku boleh duduk, aku dengar aje duduk, kau tahu? Best ya. No, I mean, kau jadi audience ni. Aku tak, aku just memang nak dengar share story dia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. No, because everybody grew up with different advices, different experience. I mean, that's why podcast is here. Yeah. We share, we share, we we listen. Tapi benda yang kita ambik, ambik benda yang rasa macam okay, situ je, okay, situ je. Betul, betul, betul. But yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. betul. And But I, I never tell this this thing to any any anywhere, any platform kau tak pernah tu. Uh-huh. Wow. Exclusive here. Damn. Exclusive here, guys. <laughs> no, I, I'm keep, I'm keep on saying this because actually you guys have me at the right time. Ah. Uh. Mm. Sebenarnya aku rasa kalau aku datang dulu masa kau pernah ajak tu, oh, mm-hmm. I won't tell all these things ah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Because I'm still learning and mm-hmm. the timing yang kurang invite aku sekarang ni memang ngam memang ngam dong yeah, like sorry. I feel like there's a lot of shit to say right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah and I don't oh. mind sharing it with you guys and to all the people out there yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. We do, tapi like regarding yang what you said, uh, mm-hmm. apa ni, trying, uh, if you try a little bit harder, things can work out apa semua itu, that, that is true in a lot of cases. Betul. Yeah. Because yeah. Here's, here's one thing, uh, when you When you don't let go of a dream, when you don't let go of something that you want, when you're stubborn about having it, and mm-hmm. then life finds a way. Mm-hmm. Tapi there's does, does this thing where it's about trying hard enough and trying smart enough. Two mm-hmm. and two working together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because you work hard doesn't mean you're going to get shit. True. Mm-hmm. Just because you work smart doesn't mean you're going to get shit. Yeah. You have to put two and two together. True. That's uh, actually true. Uh. So yeah, maybe man. like regarding about the past thing, like the past is going to suck. Maybe from now on, just accept. The past is going to come up from time to time. Mm-hmm. It's going to shit. But I rather it shit for one day than put it shit up my whole life. Okay. Faham. Shit, man. Yeah. Damn. Yo. Damn. See, sekarang aku datang podcast, aku dapat something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the best part of doing a podcast and just borak, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But thank you, though. I mean, yeah, you're actually true lah. Yeah, but the, so, but if it's going to be a bad day, tapi it'll be a fucking bad day. Mm-hmm. It's not going to go... On forever, forever, Because forever. Bad day is gonna always be there at one point. Oh, always. Um, aku sampai tahap macam ada this feeling. Aku takut nak happy sangat. Mm-hmm. Aku mm-hmm. tak tahu kalau korang faham ke tak benda ni. Faham. Faham. Bila kita tend to be too happy kan. Mm-hmm. Mesti ada something, something yang, yang kena datang. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, the feeling of takut macam nak happy sangat. Aku just macam, ala shit. Mm-hmm. Kena control benda ni. Tak boleh nak overexcited ke apa sekarang kan. So, yeah. And... 
yeah, talking about relationship, my the person that I'm with, mm-hmm. she's studying now. She's doing her masters. Damn. And yeah, go with brains. Yeah, go with brains, bro. Mm-hmm. She's smart, bro. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. We're not fine. I'm kidding. Yo, I'm, I'm so proud, bro. Me. No, I'm so proud because because uh, she taught me a lot in mm-hmm. a lot of things mm-hmm. in life in in financially, couple, everything, everything, mm-hmm. bro. She just so called the blonde bimbo in this relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, to be fair, <laughs> guys out there, to be fair, to be fair, and I, aku akan confirm she will agree this, mm-hmm. agree on this thing that I'm, I'm about to say. Mm-hmm. She's smart, but I'm a street smart kind yeah, of guy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So my street smart, she learned from that too, mm-hmm. and her smart, I learned from that too. Mm-hmm. It's balance, bro. Balance, okay. Balance. And that is what I love about the blonde bimbo. <laughs> street smart, the, the blonde bimbo. <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. go. There, there you go. go. Balance, bro. There Ying you go. and yang. <laughs> Yin and yang, bro. Yeah. Yin and yang. And it's very funny how... Okay, ni pun aku just nak share. But like, mm-hmm. for me, I just pray for the best for us. If... Mm-hmm. Like, I, aku, tak nak, aku tak nak jinx things or, you know, think about the bad side of it. Mm-hmm. But I feel like as long as we both know that we're fighting and doing this together, if it works, alhamdulillah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And if it doesn't, we we need to learn how to accept it. Lah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, like, um, right now, we are just focusing on our own lives. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm study, I'm mm-hmm. doing my thing and stuff. But yeah, we work as a team. That is a relationship, bro. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, I learned yeah. from relationship. You can't just be like one-sided. Mm-hmm. You know? And plus, untuk dia, she's uh, not Muslim. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But somehow, I like, rasa like, nah, with all the little things that I do, tiba-tiba dia follow, like, datang rumah penis aku, Assalamualaikum. Ah! You know, my child. My child. You know, you know, you know <laughs> that really touched me. My child. Oh, my <laughs> child. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. So my child. Kalau kadang aku share about my problems, uh-huh. tiba-tiba dia reply, Insha Allah okay je. Wow. Faham tak? Things like that, like all the little, little things, things uh-huh. yang little yang things. dia ni. And then she she read a book before about Islam and mm-hmm. stuff. So mm-hmm. I'm very happy, yeah, bro. I, I would say as much as things, a lot of things are going on in life right now with. All of the news, mm-hmm. the media, ke, my problem with work, ke, apa ke, my problem with my past. Ke, apa ke. At the end of the day, bro, I'm happy now. Mm-hmm. Because I stand where I stand and I know where I stand. Mm. And with the people around me, shit, I want to ask for more. Lah. It's, yeah. it's more than just enough, bro. But yeah, then. yeah. My mom, my family, her, my friends, you know. Everything is just so beautiful now. Lah. So, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Ah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, man. Happy, though. Hey, yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, yeah. man. But, but yeah, lah, still young. A lot of things to, to learn mm-hmm. and to go through. Mm-hmm. I just wish you guys would pray the best for me. Lah. Yeah, That's it. Like, as much as I will pray the best for all of you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Damn. Damn. Yeah, oh, I actually have a question. Okay. You have to think about it. So, we're on the same boat of oversharing. You have to think about it. Kenapa kau overshare? Aku ada jawapan aku. <coughs> like I figured out my answer, but have you ever figured out your answer? Um, I haven't figured out my answer, but the question is now, kau, aku pernah terfikir tak? Ah, kenapa? Ya, yeah, macam kenapa kau, aku overshare? Yeah, benda yeah, yeah, yeah. Kau pernah I jumpa think, jawapan aku? Aku dah jumpa lah jawapan aku lah. Maybe it will help you out. But uh, I want to see what your answer is. Kalau kau tanya aku, I think because aku terbiasa live with social media. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And... Um, Campur pula with my life as a musician, as an ent- entertainer. Uh-huh. So, in such a young, uh, at such a young age, aku rasa macam itu adalah satu mistake yang aku buat where aku share my personal life mm-hmm. with who I'm with and stuff just to post out there. And aku pernah rasa apa tau? There's a phase where kalau dia tak post pasal aku, dia tak sayang aku. Oh. You do faham. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, aku tahu bunyi boyan gila. <laughs> bunyi boyan gila. Boyan gila, oh, yeah. boyan that gila that though, benda so tu. Long. Uh, oh, that was so long. Dude. Tapi macam, if dia tak post pasal aku, dia tak sayang aku. Kalau uh. aku tak post pasal dia, um, so macam benda-benda tu lah. Mm-hmm. And to a point, aku pernah terlalu share sangat my relationship. Mm-hmm. Yang aku rasa aku... I was trying hard to show people that I'm happy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Why? Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. I can share my happiness, but at some point, I can't share my happiness like the whole thing, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's that's yeah. the mistake that I've done, and I learned from it. And Alhamdulillah, now like just like I said, social media is just like there mm-hmm. for me to work okay. as who I am. Mm-hmm. But my personal life, aku, there's a limit where. Kalau boleh, like I don't want people to know her mm-hmm. um, about my love life and stuff. And mm-hmm. kalau boleh, and she's like very private person too. So wow. 
everything that is here with me right now, I would say is almost perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, like, but pros and cons there is somehow it's hard for her to understand my life as an entertainer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Untuk bercampur dengan orang, untuk you know those kinds of things. Uh, so we had that problem before lah. But to answer your question, I feel like social media controlled me more than I control myself, mm -hmm. and I lost myself because I was too depending on what people think and what people feel about me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Rather yeah, yeah, than yeah, yeah, I yeah. think about myself. Yeah, so that's true. That is wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I go along the same lines you got. Okay, so before this, like before I had a girlfriend, I was on like a very high, very tough, dry spell of like much I'm never like uh, being in a relationship with people. Even though like I know I had the potential to, but I never had it. Every time I could try to approach a girl, some girl would like message that girl and kata much like, oh, Hakim Parker is a fuckboy. Mm -hmm. But I never... What? <laughs> Who have Yo, I been with? Yo, I couldn't share. Tapi nanti cerita lagi. Who have I been with for you to fucking say that? Yeah, 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 yeah. So much. Um, there was like so many fucking rumors about that, mm -hmm. just like spreading everywhere. Damn. And then like uh, the moment I found uh, my ex-girlfriend that time, mm -hmm. I I was so happy. And of course, I was doing a lot of things uh, for her because you know how much I loved her. Mm -hmm. But I know somewhere deep down in me there was a part yang belum heal lagi because of all the nasty shit that people said to me. And all the times that I failed because orang just said bad shit about me. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to change the narrative. Mm. I wanted to prove to them, fuck you. Uh -huh. And, and let, let, let me show you what let I'm capable of. Yeah. So then I, I did all of these things. And then it comes off as weird though, because some part of it was really e class. And some part of it, there's probably 3%. I just want to show this off. Mm -hmm. I want to yeah. show the world what mm -hmm. I'm capable of. Yeah. And it becomes fucking stupid though. Yeah, it became true. stupid to a point where... <clears throat> Aku sedar, I did that just to just for people to know that I'm a nice person. Um, mm. faham. It mm. was so dumb though. It was really dumb because yeah. I remember like um um when she first told her friends that she was dating me apa semua mm -hmm. tu, all yeah. of them were like macam ragu-ragu, risau ke apa semua tu. Oh shit. And aku dah start takut tau. Macam what if this is a situation that happens again where I could try my hardest? Tapi it's taken away from me just because a few bad words that was spoken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So aku aku takut lah dengan benda tu. So bila bila someone mention about that, aku terus get super defensive. Aku and that's why I learned this skill to be very particular with my words mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or to know what to say because mm -hmm. I I don't want to lose people just because of some fucking rumor. Like lagi someone that I really love or someone that I really treasure because it happens enough time for me to macam I have to put effort. To let people know what my image is, mm -hmm. who I, who I yeah. am, how I am. Yeah. But it became too much, lah. Like, macam kau cakap lah. Like, it should be something yang me and her are just happy about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Apa orang yang cakap orang ni cakap, cakap lah. Yeah, okay. that's actually how it works, bro. It and should have been like that's that. That's why kalau yeah. kau fikir balik, macam nowadays, right? The the new batches here, macam 2001 and above, lah. Mm -hmm, I would say. I could have fikir macam how's their love life, dude? Macam, mm. macam dude, can you imagine dulu kita pernah lah? Of course, lah, macam aku pun. Aku pernah macam zaman sekolah lu, oh nanti jumpa kat pondok. You know, ah. those kind of feeling. <laughs> tukar, tukar jaket, tukar jaket. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, those, those sweet little things. Yeah, yeah, betul. It, it actually helps us to just feel alive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When we are living in a world yang semua benda hujung jari, betul. kasih sayang pun hujung jari doh. Yeah. Yeah, you know, macam likes on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Certain people fikir macam, oh if you like that picture, means you appreciate the post. Yeah, Actually, ta, like is just a like. But it's just a like. You know, like, you can't let social media control mm -hmm. your perspective. Or okay. your narrative. And, uh, or your narrative and uh -huh. things like that, you mm -hmm. know, about how you think. And for me, macam kau cakap tadi, ada orang DM macam, oh, Hakim used to be a fuckboy. Fuck boy. Yeah. <laughs> kau imagine aku, tolak mm -hmm. tepi love life lah, weh. Mm -hmm. Friends. Aku datang rumah kawan aku. Dia, aku duduk kat sofa macam ni, dia kena panggil dengan parents dia. Literally, aku dengar, kenapa kawan dengan budak ni? Kan dia pergi club apa semua. Fake. Kenapa nak kena berkawan dengan dia? Ooh. Aku tengah duduk sini ni kat depan. And I heard those conversations. I was like, yo, it's painful, man. Damn. It's painful. Damn. Because like, Paris, yeah. yeah, even parents, for me to be a friend, and he's a guy, mm -hmm. yang macam, just kawan, macam uh -huh. aku kau, tiba-tiba okay. datang rumah, parents kau cakap macam tu lah, contoh dia. So macam, it hurts a lot, and aku still boleh ada kat situ yang just burak-burak dengan parents dia. Damn. Yeah, just to, Yeah, because I'm kind of used to it. Being in the industry, apa yang buat aku tahan is like, aku belajar how to telan. Mm. 
mm. all of Damn. the things though. Yeah, though. Because at the end of the day, there are things that you can't control, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's overpower for you. Mm-hmm. And kau just boleh buat what's the best for you. Kau tak boleh buat semua orang puas hati dengan every decision yang kau buat. But think about yourself. Are you satisfied? Mm-hmm. You know, okay, contoh by sharing all of the things in social media. Mm-hmm. Are you satisfied? Are you satisfied with the life and you kena tunjuk ka- your love? Mm-hmm. Macam, you're happy dekat social media. Are you happy with that? Mm. Yeah. Or is that just a thing yang kau terpaksa buat? Yeah, faham. You know? Mm. Yeah. yeah. So macam, mm-hmm. yeah. And I also followed a few like YouTubers out there mm-hmm. pasal pasal macam dia dah ada perfect family buat vlog apa semua mm-hmm. tengok nama dia Austin eh? oh uh, yeah, you know yeah, you know yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a huge fan of the family uh, anak-anak dia semua macam cute and so macam it's like a perfect family but with that perfect family yang kita nampak the happiness they mm-hmm. also are going through problems too yeah betul so you imagine that is when we go back to the topic when don't let social media control you man mm-hmm. you know at the end of the day if you did mistakes Oh, you macam tu buat salah ke apa Discuss, learn And just appreciate things yang ada around you Jangan let them go mm-hmm. You know, when you have a strength from your parents And also you have a strength from your partner It's two different things bro. Mm-hmm, betul. You know, you can't say they are the same They are in the same position uh. Cannot Because <laughs> my mom will always be the first mm-hmm. Whatever it is And apa-apa pun I love my mom I'm sorry if I'm a bad boy Ke nakal ke apa mm-hmm. towards her <laughs> But But I love her, mm-hmm. you know, and she knows that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, macam, macam tu lah, at the end of the day, macam, kita tak boleh nak buat semua orang suka kita, macam aku cakap tadi. Betul. Yeah. Yep. So, that's kind of hard. Itu apa yang aku belajar is to telan all the things yang macam ben- kebencian, all the negative hate, semua aku just telan though. Sometimes, aku baca je all the comments mm-hmm. and all. Sedih lah, tapi macam, nak buat apa kan? What can I do? Mm-hmm. What can I do to make them satisfied? You know? Mm-hmm. As long as I'm satisfied with what I'm doing right now. Mm-hmm. That's enough, bro. If That I want to change, I shouldn't go out there and post story. I'm changing. <laughs> aku nak solat lima waktu. <laughs> aku nak pergi masjid hari-hari. Solat Jumaat tak tinggal. <laughs> Bangun pagi gosok gigi. You know, all of the stuff we don't need to tell you, yeah, bro. Betul, betul, so just betul understand though. there are personal life mm-hmm. yang kau kena hold on and kau kena belajar and face it yeah. with yourself. Mm-hmm. You don't need people out your followers couple to be with you. But they are with you to support mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Oh fuck. You don't need your followers to be with you. God you don't damn. it's your journey though. Mm-hmm. It's your journey. It's your journey. It's your love life. It's your when some career wise, your working life couple. It's your journey, bro. Let yourself control your story. And one thing I kumna dinga ka one podcast. You are not the main character in your life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kau kena ingat benda tu mm-hmm. Tak semua benda pasal you je yeah. Oh faham Yeah Faham Yeah so let's say You mesti ingat you play one Actually you're uh, like a Apa orang panggil NPC eh? uh, ooh. You wow, know what I mean NPC ah, <laughs> Non playable character Yeah <laughs> Non playable character You're not a player one You're an NPC You know what that's life <laughs> Macam cerita free guy Kau tak cerita free guy lah mm-hmm. Yang Ray Reynolds yeah. jadi yeah. NPC Lepas tu yeah. tiba-tiba dia jadi player kan Betul yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just how life is. Yeah. Sometimes it's not just about you. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh-huh. You have to accept the fact that um, you live in this world to do mistakes, to be better, to be the best version of you. And at the end of the day, hari hari, just remind yourself you are the best version of yourself. But you can be better, man. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That is the motivation that you need in your mind, mm-hmm. rather than sedih. Faham. Um. Tak lina buat apa. Mm-hmm. Just not. Kurung diri dalam bilik ke apa I mean I've been there too mm-hmm. I've been there macam Just break down nangis mm-hmm. Duduk dalam bilik Buat benda mengarut-ngarut mm-hmm. But at the end of the day Tuhan just macam Pop Maya wake up Yeah, mm. This is a wake up call So You need to live mm, You know okay. Things like that Aku rasa macam Oh Shit Actually aku dah Way out of my limit mm-hmm. I had too much fun Aku lupa pasal kerja Aku lupa pasal family mm-hmm. So benda tu is a wake up call For me and I learn And biar aku Be better for myself mm-hmm. Without telling all of you guys Yeah. Sebab benda tu Aku kena buat Bukan korang Betul mm. You know yep. ah, So macam Kalau kau nak berubah ke apa Just keep it to yourself And do it Do mm-hmm. actions bro Sebab kalau kau cakap kat orang Kau nak buat ni Kau nak buat tu And then kau tunjuk Kau tengah buat baik What is the point Betul Yeah betul What is the point Why do you want Why is it so Kenapa orang selalu rasa macam Dia nak semua orang suka dia orang mm-hmm. Tak mm-hmm. boleh You can accept You can accept the fact that Life Is just like that ada yang benci kau, ada yang sayang kau, ada yang suka kau. That is how 
you know how to appreciate your friends. Yeah. Mm. That is how you know how to appreciate your family, your mm. life. Mm. You, that is how kau faham maksud bersyukur tu apa. Mm-hmm. Ada je times yang aku tak ada duit though. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Faham. Faham. <laughs> faham kan? <laughs> Terang amat. Nak tengok bank account aku. <laughs> 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 we will face those things. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But that is life, bro. Mm-hmm. It's like a, macam roda. Mm-hmm. Ada time kau kat bawah, ada time kau kat atas. Tapi kan kita sendiri dah tahu Allah Maha mengetahui, mm-hmm. and and everything is just Him. And we have to believe that semua benda yang kita hadap dia yang bagi sebab dia tahu kita boleh handle. Yeah. Betul. Dia tahu kau yeah. specifically. Specifically, yeah, down yeah. to every atom. He knows you more than anyone does. Mm-hmm. Than anything does. There's this you know? great quote aku suka. Macam, everyone out there, everyone in the world knows chapters about your story. Mm-hmm. But God knows the full story. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shit, yeah, it's actually true. Ta, 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 ta. There you go. <laughs> Wait, I love that quote. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. But yeah, man, life Wait. taught me a lot. Ah. You do. Nam- boleh nampak lah. Boleh nampak dengan apa yang kau cakap, dengan apa... Um, experience kau mm, and all. Ya yeah, tu, mai aku kena dua tahun lepas tak tekak je ni saya. Ya tu. Aku kena ada Ma- Ma- yang, yang lepas untuk dia cubit buting. Cubit buting. <laughs> aku kena ada cubit buting betul, tu. Betul tu. Betul. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, betul lah. Apa yang kau cakap tu, kau kena experience semua benda ni baru kau dapat belajar. Yeah. And baru kau tahu benda tu macam mana. Yeah, and baru kau tahu kau ni macam mana sebenarnya. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Because kalau kau buat semua benda untuk orang suka kau, untuk orang, untuk orang, mhm. You will never know yourself. Yeah, betul. Hmm. Damn. Betul. Damn. Betul tu. Yeah, if, I, if I ask you guys, what is the main reason korang buat podcast? Ooh. Is it because of people watching? No, nah, I mean... Okay, personally lah. Personal, personally. Personally. Yeah. Right, personally. There was two reasons. Personally, mm-hmm. one, I wanted to... Memang dari dulu lagi, it's my fucking dream mm-hmm. to have a job mm-hmm. where I'm getting paid just to talk. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I will love that so much. Mm-hmm. Tapi second, of course lah, the main idea was always macam for people to come down, share the stories mm-hmm. and for just for people to learn and to let them know that they're not going through a hard time alone. Betul? Okay, okay uh. you? Then, aku first first adalah aku ada sekali tu berborak dengan kawan-kawan aku. Okay. Aku borak macam damn. Ini aku, bila aku borak dia ada dia punya experience and aku mm-hmm. boleh ambil benda tu mm-hmm. and masa kita borak tu macam fuck banyak saya benda aku dapat macam tu yeah, and lepas oh. tu aku macam jumpa Kim macam oi dia ni boleh bercakap and dia pun boleh bagi something dekat orang mm-hmm. so aku macam damn aku nak rasa benda tu and aku nak juga orang orang dapat rasa dia dapat benda tu see like uh. whatever you guys are saying right now you guys are doing it because korang suka and korang nak benda tu untuk orang juga yeah mm. so the main point here setengah orang They thought podcast is just like a podcast yang kau just buat podcast, kau borak. Ada input, kau edit lah apalah. Kan? Mm-hmm. But like, that's that's the life that we need. We need to have a purpose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have yeah, your yeah. purpose, just like what yeah, you said. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, pun yeah. sama. So macam, that is why it works. That is why Tuhan macam bagi korang all of the the choices and a lot of uh, apa benda-benda yang coming up in the future. Mm-hmm. Because you guys are doing this also to help people. Damn. Oh fuck shit. Yeah. Damn. Ay, kena buat aku nangis kan. <laughs> hey, hey, dude. <laughs> no dude, <laughs> actually. <laughs> budak ni kan. Bro, bro kau balik sekali. <laughs> tak hormat betul lah. Bro, that's fact. Sebab <laughs> it's not just a content bro. Right? Yeah. Faham tak? Betul. Faham. And it's not, at the end of the day, it's not just about money. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you betul. have the sat- satisfied punya feeling tu bila kau dapat. Kau, okay, yeah. orang DM kau, mm. Hakim, I need motivation. Mm-hmm. Hakim, thank you because of your videos, I feel better. I feel da 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 da. Betul, betul lah. So, semua orang yang cakap tu, apa perasaan kau? Kau happy bila orang cakap macam dia orang dapat change their life mm-hmm. ke apa? Dia orang dapat membantu their life by looking, watching at your Which videos. Aku cakap kau, it beats a million dollars. Mm-hmm. See, it beats a million dollars. At the end of the day, it's not about money, bro. Just Doesn't beat two million, me. but it beats. <laughs> Babi, <laughs> bro, but like, but like, same goes to me lah. I do music because mm-hmm. I love it. Mm-hmm. I want to share it. And for you guys, it's the same thing. Like you, you do a lot of content, and in the same time, macam benda-benda tu benda yang kau minat. Betul. Eh, kau betul. minat kan? Betul, minat sangat. Uh, and I, 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 I mean, kau dah biasa betul dari dulu, and mm-hmm. you learn a lot of things. Yes. And right now, you're doing your own thing. Yeah, betul doh. So betul, where betul. we are now with all the things that kita pernah lalui dulu doh. Yeah doh. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So kunci hidup dah lah lalu je doh semua ni. Lalu telan belajar you yeah, know though. a lot doh. But yeah that is what life taught me. Ah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not saying 
I'm a good good person now mm-hmm. ke apa. No, I still do my own personal mistakes ke apa Masih ke. Belajar. Yeah. But I'm mm. still learning bro. Mm-hmm. I'm still I'm still learning to be better just like I said. At the end of the day, I need to move forward rather than going back to my past. Mm. Macam same goes to you guys when you guys dah start something. Of course you want to continue and grow. Betul. Kalau Betul. boleh, right? Yeah. yeah. So you guys will do that. Lagi kurang masih bernafas and masih yeah, have betul. that eager to do it. But betul. yeah. Damn. Damn. Eh, hey, budak ni. <laughs> Damn, son. <laughs> Tengah cakap banyak lah, bro. Tengah cakap banyak. Weh. Orang Damn. sebelah kita ni bapa orang. Weh. Yeah, bapa yeah, orang, yeah, bro. bro. And look where he is now. I mean. Tengok rumah baru dia. Lawa bro, dia. you. <laughs> life is changing. And yes. you just need to have that confidence and strength to move. Right? Betul. You betul. have your own strength. You have your family. Mm-hmm. You have your own family. Yeah. You have your wife. Betul. Beside you. So macam. What else do you need, bro? Macam-macam lagi macam-macam, dong. Macam-macam kan. Yeah. Sebenarnya kau macam nak 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 explore macam-macam kan. Ya yeah, doh, betul. But you are moving together with your wife and Mm-mm, stuff. Betul. And Dorang I, I juga yang tolong ima- doh. Yeah, I can't imagine that thing ah. That mm. is when we are not there yet lah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> ni kita tak boleh buat kan. Tapi aku rasa um, <laughs> ni kena crop. Nanti edit crop dekat dia je. So, biarlah dia cakap. Kita tak boleh touch benda ni lagi. <laughs> We have no rights. <laughs> kita dengar, kita dengar. Kita dengar, uh, kita dengar eh, Tapi best. Tapi best. Bagi aku kalau kahwin ni korang akan dapat like macam-macam lah. Gaduh tu biasa tu. Kor- korang kalau hmm. kat, tengok kat Instagram ke apa. Nampak hmm. macam happy gila babi. But untuk aku gaduh tu pun wajib sebenarnya. Hmm, ha. betul. Lepas korang gaduh. Uh, yang best untuk aku. Aku punya. Aku Kalau aku gaduh. Lepas aku gaduh tu. Manja-manja. Kita, kita, <laughs> manja-manja tu. <laughs> lepas tu. <laughs> 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 Tapi yang best ni adalah. Dua-dua datang untuk work things out. Kau hmm. tengok benda tu. Kau tengok. Kau nampak macam. Shit. Aku aku buat something. Dia pun buat something. Kau nampak yeah. family kau as a team. Kau tahu. Ooh. Sebelum ni macam. Kalau kau couple. Kau macam. Mampu lah budak ni. Back kau keluar. Kan. <laughs> uh, jumpa member yeah, semua. Ma- But tak. Dua-dua nak work things out. Dua-dua nak like. Uh, bagi tahu okey awak buat macam ni so apa patut saya buat okey patutnya buat macam macam ni okey jadi team ah benda tu kau nampak macam dia bagi tahu cara kau ikut cara tu kau pun bagi tahu apa yang kau rasa benda tu sangat sangat best ah ha, aku tak ada rasa suka bergaduh but bila bergaduh tu <laughs> itu benda yang kita orang nak cari betul ha. kita orang nak cari macam okey macam mana nak work things out ni macam mana itu yang aku rasa paling indah lah bila berkahwin ni hmm. Hmm. faham faham and, and to find the right person Ooh. that feeling Weh, gila kan? Gila doh. Actually kan? untuk aku, mm. kehidupan aku pasal cinta ni, aku dulu macam sial doh aku punya. Aku memang toxic lah dulu ada ex aku macam-macam. Mm-hmm. Aku couple dia keluar dengan lelaki lain and all semua tu. Mm-hmm. And toxic macam ni. Dengan orang yang puting kena cubit. Dia <laughs> <laughs> toxic. Susah nak bayangkan. <laughs> eh tapi macam-macam lah sebab aku aku rasa macam dulu aku macam terlalu bila bercinta tu aku macam fokus benda tu je Aku sebenarnya masa aku bercinta aku tak fokus pada diri aku Macam mm-hmm. lantak lah apa dia buat janji dia happy Janji kita orang mm-hmm. bersama macam tu Aku tak fikir pasal aku kan tau uh. Bila couple tu kan So lama-lama bila aku dah besar aku belajar Actually yang best ni masa aku couple aku bela- aku ambil something mm-hmm. Macam dulu first-first aku couple aku kuat jealous Lepas mm-hmm. aku jumpa dengan orang yang tak tak jealous Macam eh fuck boleh kesial macam ni uh. Boleh sebenarnya mm-hmm. Bila kau tak jealous tu kau lebih uh, Orang kata apa kau belajar untuk percaya kau punya partner Ya yeah, true uh. And actually Orang datang dalam hidup kita With the reason bro mm-hmm. And orang. orang yang kita rapat dengan Sebenarnya kita dah Dah rapat dah kat sana You know what <laughs> I mean Betul-betul yeah, faham, faham, yeah. faham So yeah, macam Oh speaking of that uh, Time kita kat sana Kau tahu aku 50 <laughs> Oi <laughs> Eh Oi eh, eh. tahu ke 50 <laughs> Sial lah ingat lah <laughs> Letaklah banyak sikit. Letaklah banyak sikit. 50 je. 50 je. 50 je. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah man, like kau jumpa ramai orang yeah, dalam yeah. life. Yeah. You, <laughs> in relationship pun kau be with a, a lot of people Betul. yang macam kau belajar daripada relationship yeah, yeah, kau yeah. kan. Macam aku pun sama tu. Mm-hmm. Like um, I've learned a lot bro mm-hmm. and I've learned to a point yang macam if you have a home, why would you go to a hotel? Mhm. I don't want to say why I say that, mm. but, I, but I think orang boleh fikir lah. Like, if you have a home, why would you want to go to the hotels out there? Mm-hmm. You know, you should just go back home. I, I appreciate your home and learn with your home how to be a team. Aku, aku nak buat lawak. Dia nak buat lawak. <laughs> buat lawak, buat lawak, buat, buat, buat lawak, buat, buat lawak. Lawa. Lawa. <laughs> okay, 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 let's go, let's go. The, the only reason you go to hotels is what Pitbull suruh. Meet me at the hotel. <laughs> 
So kau tadi yang pasal ha, kau punya saya macam banyak-banyak kita ambil lah daripada ha, kan. macam benda-benda tadi tak payah ambil. Tak ambil lah. Ada, ada <laughs> macam saya cakap tadi ada kat podcast ni ada benda kita ambil. Ada benda boleh ambil, ada benda, ada benda, benda kena buang. So tolonglah guys, aku jangan aku guna joke kat tu dekat kawan-kawan. <laughs> jangan, <laughs> jangan. Aku boleh kat supaya korang gelak lawak gila. Tak payah. <laughs> Dia tukar butik. Woi, janganlah, janganlah Kim. Dah tiba-tiba oh oh tiba gelak. KN well, Fokus sama-sama Bapak lah <laughs> Jangan lah Jangan <laughs> Apa-apa kau nampak Yang dah puas nanti I just hope you guys Boleh nilai daripada sini Betul lah. Betul <laughs> yeah, But that is Love life And betul. life and stuff mm-hmm. But macam That's What what, what are we gonna talk about next man oh. What are, what do we wanna talk about Ooh. Ui, Kita dah cakap macam-macam tu Ya yeah, tu Ya yeah, tu Damn Macam-macam tu And from from you guys pun Aku dapat macam-macam ke And for me to To share things that I want to share pun Aku dah rasa macam-macam Aku rasa macam Not to say puas mm-hmm. I mean like You know satisfied with all the, With mm. me being here yeah, You do yeah. you know? okay. And aku tak sangka macam ni Perginya yeah. Okay macam Mael macam Ah Entah ya cakap macam dia tu Tak selesa Oh I don't want to share Tak pula No comment No comment about that You know things like that But like I mean Itulah maksud aku like Life and Kau At the end of the day sekarang semua benda ujung jari and mm-hmm. so dangerous Itu je aku nak ingatkan yeah. Sebab Sangat. aku dah experience benda tu And so hard though Macam Aku tak nak cerita benda tu lagi Tapi there's an, something came up baru-baru ni And uh, it's so hard for me because people are blaming me And assuming me mm-hmm. When it's not my fault and it's not my responsibility mm-hmm. and So I, why should I be responsible to the thing yang aku tak buat Mm-hmm. So that's why aku stay silent and stuff Even mm-hmm. aku dengan my team Kita keluarkan a statement Yang mm-hmm. katakan If this thing happen again We will summon I mean It's time to use law mm-hmm. For this issue yeah. Sebab dia macam cakap Certain things yang kita tak ada power Untuk control benda tu At the end of the day Explanations are just Somehow a waste sometimes mm-hmm. Because tak semua orang nak dengar explanation kau Betul. Kalau mereka dengar pun, they will just ridicule it Yeah, like, and, yeah. and they have their own theory uh-huh. Lagi-lagi kat TikTok yeah. Ada banyak gila teori banyak Bukan pasal gila. live je Pasal dinosaur lah uh. Pasal bumi ni Bullet flat lah Apa benda lah I mean guys uh. Yo come on betul. Those things are dangerous What if anak kau nampak benda-benda tu You know yeah, what I mean betul, betul, betul. How dangerous that could be Damn bro? yeah do ah, Ni benda lagi aku nak kena risau ni yeah. Ah Kan yeah, Nampak betul. This Sebab is an era Where there's too many information mm. Too many information too many. bro And yeah. kids can just Nampak benda yeah, tu Ya dekat situ yeah. je tu Dude aku punya Adik perempuan Sofia Dia kata kat dia punya Orang her classmates lah Bayangkan mm. dia Dia form 1 lah eh, Last mm-hmm. year yang berlaku mm-hmm. <coughs> Last year time dia form 1 Dia kata macam Some of her friends dah start uh, Using they them punya pronouns mm, uh, Fuck Using what? They them oh, Kan ada she, him, she her mm-hmm. They them And then pasal macam adik perempuan aku tanya Adik perempuan ni pandai sikit yeah. <laughs> She a bit woke uh, <laughs> okay. I taught her right uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So then tanya dia So macam oh what, what makes you feel like you're a day them I don't know I just felt it Yeah but then isn't that just like a temporary motion Instead of an identity kind of thing mm-hmm. Perempuan tu mentor <laughs> That's right That's right That's right That's, That's right. 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 I taught you Come on Come on Come on, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> like smart girls Yelah hey, Tapi, Bahaya tapi damn Ya yeah, ya yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, dah, dah masuk dalam kita punya budak-budak lah kan? Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, yeah. oh, it's yeah. everywhere bro. And kids Tapi, kan sekarang macam kau nampak, like most of it, ada phone sendiri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ada Betul. iPad. Yeah. So yeah. Macam, Tapi, yeah. I wouldn't put like too much stress on it. Because in a sense, macam, kita pun bodoh fuck siya dulu. Yeah, yeah. Though, yeah, though, yeah. I'm not saying like, you, if you identify yourself in a different way, you yeah. bodoh fuck. And, 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 and by you saying that, tak masuk yang kita ni dah pandai gila sekarang yeah, betul yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's, it's mm-hmm. fine that you know your identity great if you have perfect yeah. reasoning with your identity that's fine betul. but if your reason is just because because it's trendy then fuck you ah <laughs> fuck you <laughs> betul fuck you fuck you <laughs> so yeah. yeah i mean i guess during that time you know that these kids just want to experiment they just want to learn they just want to figure yeah, out yeah. who they are and somewhere along life when you still don't know who you are Mm-mm. you could be 35 and you still don't know who you are yet yeah but everyone takes their own time at their own pace Time And will tell lah bro Yeah I'm not here to judge your fucking life Because I don't even know where my life is going mm-hmm. True man mm. Same goes to me ah. Whatever that we are talking about right now Is generally just to share Betul mm. And niat kita is just to share to people And to learn lah Yeah, yeah. betul Just like you guys said And that's also the reason why I want to be here Because I want to learn from you guys too Ish. Damn you know what I mean Like aku tak nak lah datang podcast Just to be in a podcast mm. uh, Somehow uh. I'm Not to say I'm used to interviews But 
at the end of the day, interviews are gonna be interviews, mm-hmm. and it's just gonna be like that. Yeah, they got short and simple. So yeah, yeah so much um, being in a podcast with the right peoples, like people, do you, helps me too, uh. mm-hmm. uh-huh. Yeah, and just like I said, the timing is just right. Yeah. So I'm Thank happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, see, time will tell. Yeah. Betul. 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 Dia pula nama tengah naik Lepas dia tak join podcast Eh hey, hmm. dia palau hakim lah Dia palau aku siap Siapa tu Kau nak aku, nah, aku cari dia Tak apa Kau nak aku cari dia Ayah nanti kau jumpa Ayah nanti aku jumpa Alah bodoh lah Aduh Aduh Okay aku rasa dah memang penghujung ni Dah sampai hujung dah Sila hakim Okay alright Tapi one final question lah Untuk penghujung ni kan Okay If you have something you would say to your younger self kan What would you say to him? Aduh, banyak tu. Okay lah, uh, in less than, less than a tweet. <laughs> 180. <laughs> Tapi ada blue tick, so boleh panjang lagi. Uh, blue tick. Macam mana nak cakap? Sila, eh. sila. Ada masa lagi. Hmm. Um, aku rasa the most important thing is don't don't waste your time lah, dua maknya. Hmm. You know? Hmm. And uh, just like I said lah, macam with a lot of mistakes that I did, just don't waste your time. And just remember the people that love you, yang selalu support you. Like, do you want to disappoint them to a point? You know. And I feel like if I, I could nampak the younger version of me, mm-hmm. I would say I will be just be a better person, mm. Yeah, well. because whatever that happened before affects me now, but at the same time, it helps me and it makes me who I am today. So all I can say is just don't waste your time, ah. That's it. Because don't waste your time like regretting the past, good. Don't waste your don't time. waste your time when you are young. Just, just, just do what you want to do, man. Mm-hmm. Ah. Just explore. Because, aku bersyukur sangat. Because aku memang betul betul grateful that I did a lot of things before. I'm not saying that aku dah tua sekarang mm-hmm. kau mm-hmm. But there's a lot of things more for me to learn, right? Mm-hmm. And aku pun tak sampai tahap tu lagi for me to give advice to myself. Ah. You know what I mean? But yeah, all I can yeah. say for now is just don't waste your time and appreciate more people around me. Oh. That's all. Yeah. As it should be. Damn. As it should be. Damn. Nice. Damn. Tu Mael, aku nak cakap aku sangat-sangat bangga dengan kau. Oh, yeah. Seba- yeah. Sebagai seorang manusia uh-huh. dan daripada segi muzik, daripada Sabah, demi kita, dan macam-macam yeah, dah sekarang. Yeah. And aku harap yeah. kau dapat mewarnai lagi kita punya industri ini. Amin. And tolonglah. Ah, tu je lah. <laughs> <laughs> And tolonglah. Ah. Tu je lah. Tu je lah. <laughs> Itu lah punjung rancangan ini. Thank you for coming. Thank, thank you, for thank you, my yeah. okay, Thanks guys for having me. Yeah, thank Woo! you for being guys, here. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yee-hee. Okay, ciao sin. Ciao, ciao, ciao. I love you. Mm. Hey, adik, tolong, tolong tutup, adik. Adik, 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 adik,